<laughs> I guess we should go over here first. We usually go over here first. I almost went straight to the game, but it's not time for that. Yet. We gotta, we gotta ease into it. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, another gaunt school. It's been a little bit, you know, being scheduling and all that happens, happens. Um, uh, but we're back now. <laughs> we're having fun with the emotes. Uh, I've expanded the 7TV emotes a little bit, added some new ones in there. So if you don't have 7TV, uh, you are seeing a very uh, strange chat right now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, go and get that uh, extension if you want to see what on earth everybody's posting. But uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll get back into it. Do a little recap. And, uh, ease ourselves back in. Yeah, you've seen the very rich, uh, Loki. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go and get, uh, <laughs> 7 TV to see all the uh, extra emotes. Don't mind missing out. Fair enough. You're not, <laughs> you're not missing anything amazing. It's just very cursed. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's do a little recap. So, previously on uh, Gaunt's Gold, uh, the party, after escaping from a, a prison-bound convoy, have uh, made their way along with uh, one of their fellow escapees to the city of Marinhal. Uh, first, just to lie low, but then that. Uh, fellow escapee, Camille, uh, offered them uh, a gig, a job of sorts. Uh, she said she's putting together a team <laughs> and uh, offered uh, places on that team if they wanted to do so, uh, because she plans to rob her former employer, uh, a very rich and little sketchy noblewoman by the name of Lady Gwendolyn Gaunt, uh, who happens to have a maximum security vault in the Evermore Bank, which is located in the city of Marin Hall, which is, of course, where they are. And so, uh, after getting the lay of the land and exploring the city a little bit, they began to uh, do a couple things in order to prepare for the heist, the eventual heist, uh, the breaking into the bank and robbing uh, Lady Gaunt's vault. And uh, first things first, they, well, explored the city to understand uh, uh, kind of what's going on in their environment. But uh, they also uh, kept their eyes peeled for some potential allies and uh, managed to see a few different uh, people around the city who needed help and might be able to provide services in exchange for, uh, for some aid. And so uh, they picked up a few side quests. But uh, they also had to case the joint. And so they made their way into the bank, uh, acting as uh, pretend building inspectors, as they learned that uh, the bank was due to be inspected by uh, one of the building inspectors. And so after disguising themselves as him and uh, a made-up assistant, they made their way into the bank, uh, the two of them. Two of the party members made their way into the bank. And they learned uh, many different things uh, that we'll probably go over again right at the top of the session, so I won't, I won't list them all now. Uh, but uh, they um, explored the bank a little bit. Uh, were given a guided tour by the manager and uh, found out a few of the security measures that they were going to have to bypass when they eventually robbed the vault. Uh, the two that stayed outside, uh, who didn't accompany them, uh, ran into a disgruntled employee of the bank, Anise, who uh, had just been placed on leave uh, for, you know, reasonable reasons, but <laughs> all the same, she still needed some money to be able to pay off the, uh, the rent of the, the family home. And so in exchange for a promise from the party, she decided to help them. Uh, but of course, the terms that she had for their agreement were that uh, they cannot maim or kill 
any of the bank employees during their heist. And so, uh, with a bit more knowledge of the security measures inside the bank, and uh, a new insider ally on their side, uh, the gang put together their plan. Uh, which I think we'll just kind of recap right now. We'll get into things and, and recap that right now. All right. So, uh, I've put this into your, uh, your journals. There is a new note called, uh, Camille's Master Bank Heist Plan. It's a great title. Uh, so if you can't see that, please let me know, because you should be able to see that. Uh, this might be a little small for you, chat, but we're going to read through it. Uh, so Camille has uh, has detailed you guys up a little plan. She's jotted down everything that you told her about your experience inside the bank, as well as what Anise told you guys about the bank. Uh, and she's put together a sort of uh, reminder to-do list as to uh, what you are going to need. So when you scouted the bank, you learned that there were uh, sort of four key obstacles. The Aetheric Signatures, uh, the, the Arcane... Uh, signature readers that were scanning people uh, that were passing through certain doors. Uh, you are going to need to be able to fool those. Uh, but Anise did tell you that air should work should you be able to attain some from the select people that you need to attain it from. Uh, you also need to bypass the anti-arcane cascade uh, as if you're going to get to the upper level, the lower security vaults in order to get further down to the maximum ones, you're going to need to get past the anti-arcane cascade, which of course cancels any active spells, as well as places a sort of debuff on you that uh, stops you from casting any future spells for the time being uh, and lasts quite a while. So if you want to be able to cast spells while you're doing your little heist, you're going to need to shut that off. Uh, now Anise, she mentioned that uh, she believes that it's fueled from water uh, runoff taken from the sewers. And so she suggested that you poke around the sewers at some point if you want to uh, shut that off. Though Camille advised you to probably leave that till right before the heist to shut the water off. Otherwise, of course, they uh, might get wise to your scheme. Uh, the other problem was the uh, golems, which you did not actually see, but were mentioned several times by employees. Um, now, though you didn't see any, uh, sort of mechanism or way to mess with them inside the bank, uh, you did, however, thanks to Sarisa, learn, uh, that, uh, the sculptor in the Artisan Square actually, uh, helped, uh, build some of them, uh, which is a lead that, uh, you jotted down for later. Uh, and the last problem, of course, is just getting to the maximum security vaults in general, as, uh, the tour that you were on did not take you there, and you were told that uh, very few employees even get to the the maximum security vaults, uh, as those are for the, the very, very top paying customers of the bank. And uh, so, Anise speculated, though she couldn't confirm, that uh, there might be a path to the maximum security vaults through the gold pits. Uh, and the gold pits, of course, are the sort of repository where all of the just uh, generic uh, change and coin is kept uh, uh, from the, the normal vaults, not even the low security vaults, but the just kind of normal uh, customers who just store their money there at the bank. Uh, they need a place to keep all of that gold because they are keeping quite a lot of gold and the gold pits are where they do it. Uh, and so she speculated that perhaps that's uh, that sort of employees only floor. Uh, the gold pits uh, are a path to the maximum security vault. Uh, of course, getting there is difficult, and, but she mentioned that there seems to be one of the low security vaults, uh, one of the top vaults, as they call them, uh, that is under construction uh, due to uh, a flaw in the construction of the floor there. And she speculated that uh, if you were to blast your way through that floor, you might be able to fall your way into the gold pits.
And so here, uh, Camille has detailed out uh, everything that you might need to uh, get. You need uh, not only a way in, uh, just to even be able to do anything in the bank, uh, but you also need a uh, admin key from the manager because uh, the admin key is necessary for accessing the top security vault. The, the maximum security vaults, I should say. Uh, and along with that is, of course, the personal key from the vault owner, which will be Gaunt's personal key. But you need both of their etheric signatures as well. And so you're going to have to do some... some sneaking. Ooh. Nat 20 on your Lurk roll, Druid IRL. Very nice. Impressive. Actually, I shouldn't even I shouldn't even reference it at all. You're not even here. I don't see you. <laughs> you're too stealthy for us to even notice you. Um, and uh, we touched on the anti-arcane cascade. You guys already have that down, right? You don't need me to go over that again. You know, you understand. You remember. Is that a yes? That's a yes. We'll assume that's a yes. <laughs> okay, maybe that's not a yes. The what, Gran? The anti-arcane cascade. The waterfall that we oh, the very waterfall. geniusely and smoothly dodged having to go under. Bro. Didn't suspect yes, uh, thing. at the entrance to the top vaults, uh, for the unfamiliar, uh, is a sort of waterfall that just cascades down from the ceiling. Uh, and any who pass through it have their spells... Uh, Disarm, if you will. Uh, and uh, the, the effect, as you were told, lingers. Uh, so you might want to shut that off if you plan on casting spells during this heist. Casting spells would be nice, yes. Would, would uh, it would, yeah, yeah, would be pretty nice. Yeah. So in other words, you need, uh, you need some sets of keys. You need uh, the manager's key. You need Gaunt's key. And you need both of their etheric signatures as well. You need some way to pretend that you're them. Um, you need to shut off the cascade. You need to potentially do something about the golems, unless you plan on uh, confronting them head on. Head on. Uh, and then last but not least, you need to find a way to uh, blow your way into the gold pits. Uh, now, last time... Uh, I think you asked Camille for advice, and uh, she recommended that you check out the Alchemiseum in town, the sort of uh, factory, the alchemist's uh, workhouse, where uh, they were manufacturing all sorts of things, and so uh, if you needed an explosive, that might be the place to check. So she did, of course, say uh, maybe you should also consider a means of silencing that explosion, because uh, it might, you know, give the game away. Uh, so that's what we went through last time. There's your there's your little recap. If anybody has any questions, please ask. Didn't we? Talk we did discuss about all this. Last time. Didn't we talk about a solution for the um explosion? Like how were we how we were gonna uh keep it down? I can I can take silence. If I level up, <laughs> I think okay. um, oh. I think both <laughs> yeah. Leah and Anthena suggested the silence spell. Um, okay. And um, I believe uh, you could just learn that on your own if you wanted to spend your own time trying to learn that spell. Or uh, Anise also suggested that in the scroll libraries, uh, where they lock up all the the rare scrolls uh, in the bank, um, that they do also have spell scrolls, so you could try to find it there as well. Yeah, um, right. If you didn't want to, uh, there's no didn't... guarantee that there would be one there, though. The she said that it's. She said that it's not that uncommon of a spell, so she said it, they probably would have one. Um, okay. But um, if you didn't want to waste uh, time learning that spell yourselves, you could do that. She also asked you to, if you are going into the library, find the uh, um, the list of uh, infractions. That uh, happened in the bank, employee infractions, uh, and just kind of wipe her name clean from that because it would make it a little easier for her to keep her job. Easy. Uh, and you and you did say Easy. that um, you did say that you would try to do that yeah. last time. Um, 
Kagox looks over at Camille since we've gone over our list again and uh, seeing as Camille that's the, has that's been the second a... time we, we've done it now. Does everybody have it? I know it's complicated, but does does Lady Gaunt groom herself? Well, I, I suppose most people do, but again, we'd have I to mean, get access to the manor. I mean, like a, a hairbrush or something. A comb. She certainly owns them, but again, as I said before, if we want to access the summer home, we ought to leave that till later. If we even leave even the tiniest sign that we were there, she might suspect something was up. Is and she that course, observant? Well... She's not one of the most richest people in the entire realm for nothing. Hmm. All I'm saying is that we should leave that towards the end. So that she has less time to prepare if we do accidentally get caught. Hmm. Well, that sounds good to me. Uh, uh, and I, I did say before, uh, just a few minutes ago, that I, I believe I have a way to get us into the manor. Uh, I'll have to ask around a little bit, but I think I can get us in there. But again, we should leave that till later. Uh, I'll work that contact and you all do the rest of it and we'll meet up again. Right. And uh, we don't need to go over the everything a third time. <laughs> I think a third time would help. <laughs> we can go over it again if you're still unsure. An elephant never forgets, but I forgot to remember. Well, here he just kind of like leans his head against his, his fist and just goes, Well, I know my part of the plan. You asked me to tail the bank manager, that's all. Yeah. Uh, as you wanted him to uh, to follow the bank manager around, see what her schedule is like, uh, and maybe find where she lives as well. So that you could spend your time doing other things while getting some information. Mm, okay. One thing at a time. So, what should we be uh, focusing on first? Well, last time you did say that you sketched out uh, a route for the day on your map. Can we take a look at that again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's look at that. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a plan that would be a good plan to follow. Right, well, you don't you don't need me to tell you that we're right here right now. At the Tipsy Quipper, of course. <laughs> uh, and you did say that you wanted to swing by the Alchemician, uh, just to check the place out and see if there might, in fact, be any information gathered there. Uh, and then I believe you said that you wanted to just sort of scroll past this... Greta was her name, uh, the agent manager of that dancer from the restaurant you were talking about. Mm -hmm. You said you wanted to break into her house, and so you were just going to stroll on by during the day to at least see what the house looked like, see if there was any ways of entering. And then you were going to take a long walk across the city, you said, all the way down. Uh, you said you had a meeting with some thief. You said you didn't quite trust him, but you at least wanted to meet with him. In the spot that he gave you. Mm, right, that fellow. Ah, uh, that Aaliyah and um, Anthena men met. Yes, after we very masterfully um, entered a window. Yeah. Yes, you, you I mentioned saw that, that happen. As well. Yes, quite. We were very <laughs> eloquent at yeah. going into a window. Eloquent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, yeah. I don't know very many words, but I don't think that's the word that's meant to be used. No, I think that's word was just fine. <laughs> no, I think it's right. I think it's right. It was right. Yes. Quite. Uh, well, hmm. nevertheless, uh, around that time, it should be evening, and you all said you wanted to attend the festival. Uh, I, I said I wanted to as well. Uh, so oh. I thought, I'll take care of what I need to today, you take care of that, and we'll meet around the beach at evening. Yeah. Yes. So we go to the Esplosa Modicum, and then the 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 mean lady's house, and then uh, the festival. The thief. Thief also. 
Thief. Thief. Okay. But he, he's uh, right by the beach, so it, it should be fine. The the Kaboomatorium, then... Oh. Yes. The, that the lady's house. The Thief, then festival. Yes. Very good. Very well, then. Uh, we're all in agreement. Mm-hmm. And Dina tries to start one of those, like, everybody puts their hand in type thing, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anybody else joins <laughs> in. Valerio joins Leo, in. Leo would. Yeah. Three's Yay! Three's Yay! <laughs> what? Do we have a, a name for our little um, crew here? Like, you know, like a like a cool group name? I think we need one. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. I've, I've been... Never been a part of a group before. Honestly, me neither. If you don't count that one thing, so but it never had a name. So I don't know. It shouldn't be something like it. It shouldn't be like thieves because that's going to be a little obvious if we do that right. in public. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll sleep on that. That's the most pressing issue, I'm sure. Work so. Workshop it a little bit. We'll meet up again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, whatever my battle sisters decide, I will agree to. Could just be battle family. <laughs> battle family. Battle fam. <laughs> battle fam! Battle fam! <laughs> battle fam on three! <laughs> one, one, two, three. <laughs> battle, battle fam! fam. Battle fam! Battle well, like, well, like, like I said, workshop it a little bit. <laughs> no, we've we've decided this I think we is what it is. It. No, <laughs> All right. So we're headed to the I don't I forget the actual name, the Kabumatorium. I like that better. Uh, the Ventus Alchemism. Right. Yeah. That isn't isn't that what I said? No. Okay. No. Mm. Right, well, let's have at it then. Yeah, and surely nothing will go wrong today. Hopefully Did you flip not. your coin? Did your coin tell you that it was not going uh, to be a good day? Cerise is actually starting to reach for it. <laughs> <laughs> going to flip it. Is, was this the start of the next day, or was this the night of the day? the day before we decide to do all this stuff um i i don't think it's either i think it might be sort of midday you wanted to meet up with camille okay okay yeah um and, and i wasn't kind of i wasn't sure everybody. it's been a minute i i've lost track of time i i, I apologize yeah. it like well, it's, we're gonna, i know it's only been an hour it's definitely not it's... nighttime because you would be at the festival um so it's it's i think it's midday you wanted anise to come back here so that you could introduce her to camille uh, mm -hmm. And so you kind of just had that little meeting with Camille, introducing Anise to her and, and getting the next step of the plan. You did the the whole casing the joint in the morning. And so it's yeah. around midday now. And so you got a few more hours left in the day before the actual festival starts, so. Cool. All right. All right. Flip that coin. <laughs> Heads will be fine. Tails, something goes wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is which? Which is which? <laughs> yeah, which is which? Uh, wait. I think mm. what you were doing last time is you were calling it one or two beforehand. Ah, dang it. Uh, I thought in my brain, Tails was two. Okay. So, I thought that as well. That makes That's, sense. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. All right. All right, guys. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Something goes wrong today. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, you make your way uh, the, down the stairs out of the dusty old attic. Uh, and some of the, the group kind of go with you. Anise remains behind, as does Camille. Uh, but Valerio kind of walks along with you because he says, uh, well, I suppose I'm off to the bank to, uh, to watch for this manager. 
Yeah. And so, uh, uh, as you all... Luck. Oh, we'll just walk along out here. You guys still out here? Yeah, you are. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. It's been a while since we've seen this map, so we'll go here. And I'll oh, grab I love the, the birds. Little birdies. Oh, oh. Big Valeria. Big Valeria. Big yeah, big actually, Valeria's eight feet tall. I didn't tell you guys. But... Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god! I, I am still taller than him by a hair. Dude. <laughs> uh, so you make your way back out uh, into uh, streets of Marin Hall, uh, and Valeria kind of departs into the other direction to uh, to go and. Uh, just sort of linger near the bank so that he can, can start him, to... Uh, can I give him a bardic inspiration for his stealth? Sure. He, he gets a bardic inspiration. Um, he's not very Hopefully. good at stealth. Oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> Why did we send him? <laughs> well, he can at the very least follow people. <laughs> he can tell somebody. Okay. He just, he's just not good at breaking and entering, that's all. Well, that's fine. All right. A bardic inspiration for, I don't know, investigation or perception, whatever. Whatever he needs. For following and stalking a person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he uh, he drifts off to go and uh, watch uh, Josephine, the bank manager. And you all uh, can head where you want, which I presume is the direction you said you wanted to go. Indeed. Was there a pelican anywhere? Mm, you don't see one. Guys, where's Miss Almond? I don't know. Uh, just give me a moment. She's not. I will copy you all. Where is Miss Almond? I'm worried. Sorry, so sad. <laughs> Maybe our letter wasn't as um, persuasive as I thought it would be. I don't no, see how. But... Our letter was perfect. I don't know how anyone would. Disregard such a wonderfully written letter. Exactly. Uh, and so you wind your way uh, back through Merchant's Round. If anyone wants to stop in Merchant's Round, please let me know. Um, if you want to take any detours during this journey for your multitude of side quests, please let me know. <laughs> I think oh you've got. What do you got? You got to uh, investigate the blackmail letters. You've got to yep. uh, find a uh, stolen components for Creek Rock. Uh, you got to rob Greta of the contract. You've got to yeah. uh, break into Gaunt Shipping and Handling for uh, Valerio and for that uh, letter runner. Um, and, uh, well, you completed that one. And uh, now you've got to investigate the Diabolist in town as well on behalf of Yuna. Yeah, in the recap, you said we picked up a few side quests. I think it's more than a few. <laughs> I think it might be a more, yeah. <laughs> we have a novel of side quests. Yeah. Yes, quite. Yeah. So, if anyone uh, wants to sense. do anything along the way, please please don't hesitate uh, to let where, me know. Where would, where would the Diabolist be located? Where would the you Diabolist can ask be around. located? You can ask around okay. town if you want. You can say as you pass through Merchant's Round that you ask around town, if you'd yes. like. Yes. I like that. All right, uh, then yeah, you ask around town and someone points you uh, kind of back down towards the stilts. Um, it says, back the way you came, friend. Diabolist oh. is in the catamaran markets down in the stilts. The cat markets, understood. Thank you. And we'll <laughs> just kind of circle this area here for you. Hmm. I so wonder if they have big look. cats, like mm. snow leopards. Sabertooth cats. I don't know if a snow leopard would like being in a climate like this. I know I don't like being in a climate like this, so a snow leopard probably does not. Also, are there fountains nearby? Oh god. <laughs> I, no. know. I think there was one in Merchant's Round, so... Mm. As we pass through, I wade through a fountain and then we continue. <laughs> okay. Yeah. of your off screen okay just copy and pasting that's all give me a sec all right uh so yeah you make your way along the the roads of Marin hall heading north 
Uh, and you have to kind of walk your way up that that tiered sort of uh, layers of the city as you go up the hill. And uh, eventually, as you wind through the streets, you see uh, the Alchemyseum, uh, which is this sort of massive sprawl of building. Um, and at its very heart, uh, near the entrance, at the top of these steps that lead up uh, to the twin doors, uh, stretches high into the sky this massive... Uh, windmill, much like the one that you saw upon entering the uh, the city down here, uh, and it has that same arcane gem that glows at the top of it. Uh, but this one is is far larger and kind of groans in the wind as it as it turns. Nice. Right, so let me bring you there. Uh, you can see from the factory itself, uh, from this massive building, uh, there are these sort of uh, smokestacks along the top of it uh, that turn up this uh, multicolored smoke. You can see it kind of sparkles and, and bubbles even occasionally all gently uh, list up from those smokestacks rather than uh, the sort of darker acrid smoke you might be used to from a chimney. Uh, and indeed, as you make your way towards the Alchemyseum, uh, you can see two people kind of loitering out front. Uh, one of them dressed in uh, very fine uh, clothing and uh, nobleman's garb, and the other one dressed in a, uh, a rather neat and tidy uniform. Uh, though, of course, not the uniform of the bank. Do they appear to be having a discussion of some kind? Uh, they're talking to each other, but they don't appear to be, like, arguing or anything like that. Okay. Pleasant discussion this it's time. Like four months since I put these characters in here. What are their names again? <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's Frog and Toad, probably, I think. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I think so. That's my way. God, what is this frog's name? <laughs> uh -oh. I guess if, if if I can't find it, then you guys get to make it up. <gasps> oh my god, wait. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> because now, now you're, now you're going to want to do Too it. Too late. Too late. <laughs> you already said it. Too late. Uh, where is this man? <laughs> uh, it's got to be somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> No, I he's gotta be in here. No, Skippy. <laughs> ah, there we go. Google says croakster. Uh, no, I got it. I got it already. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I should have. I should have remembered. It's 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 obvious now. Okay, so uh, as you guys uh, approach the the steps that lead up to the alchemy Museum, uh, what do you do? Does, does the frogman look to be like security? Like, do we have to talk to him to pass, or can we just walk in? No, the frog looks like uh, a nobleman. He's rich. Oh wait, I thought you said he's, he was in a uniform. Nah, the other man is. The frog is just oh, out. rich frog. Oh, shit! Wait, okay, we gotta talk. I gotta know his name now too. He is probably a prince. <laughs> I think oh, that means that you have that. to kiss him, big You have to do that. That's you true. have to kiss him. Yeah, if he's a prince. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. he'll become a, a handsome prince again? Both of you to assume that the frog is not handsome. I'm yes, sure. Both, both I'm of you to assume not. that he is not handsome he's, already. I, he certainly is. I'm not saying he's not. I'm just for, saying that's For a the... frog, he is probably very conventionally attractive. Yes, because I... he has money and is dressed well. Which he must really mean Wait, he's money. an attractive frog. So if you just if you kiss him then nothing happens. He just stays. You just you've kissed him then. I think. Then you've got a rich boyfriend. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I think why, does no, works, why does no right? one kiss this frog now? Oh, I'll give him some sugar. Oh. <laughs> oh. My, my um, okay. My, my logic behind this, and and yes, I am saying the word logic. I hope I am understanding this word. I believe so. If if this is all true, why has no one kissed him yet? Because he is standing there unkissed. Maybe, maybe they have though. I mean, maybe he's just not with his um his partner at the moment. If he has but, one, should I message him and find out? Message him and see if he would like to be kissed. 
Ask you have to first. ask. Yes, we must ask these things first. This is the second nobleman that we are going to not make friends with. I'm starting as to you, suspect. As you guys just sort of like loiter nearby and stare at the, the frog, they do like <laughs> they do like catch you staring, and they just kind of like turn and look at you for a second, and just kind of like awkwardly wait as if they think maybe you're about to like approach to talk to them or maybe like you're about to pass by them and go into the alchemyseum and they just sort of like stare at you for a moment <laughs> I, I wave back, it's just, I wave back. It's just extremely awkward oh well it's about to get more awkward so <laughs> oh no what have um, we, what have the, I uh, what have we the uniformed man uh the mustachioed uniformed man uh, who's dressed smile. in sort of? He's dressed in butler's garb. Um, uh, kind of speaks up first as you approach Kagox, and he says, uh, "Gonna help you, sir." Yes, and I continue to smile. Jesus. Um. Well. Um. What can I help you with, sir? I look to everybody else. Okay. What do we what do we need help with? We're we're new and we're visiting. Same we way. are we are visiting newly here oh. in this place. Cerise oh. face palms. <laughs> and my friends are wondering why you you are not being kissed at oh this moment. Oh my goodness! Hello, <laughs> hi. My name is Sarisa and. This is my friend Kagox, and this is Athena, and this is L Leah. We we're new here. Uh, the the <laughs> the grung nobleman, the frog, uh, speaks up and says, uh, "Ah, excuse me, uh, I am Monsieur Caro. Uh, apologies, forgive my manners. I am I am a newcomer as well to this city. Your name is Mister Frog." Pardon me, more? I'm just looking this up right now. No, his name is, um... Uh, what did you say your name was? Sorry. He said his Mons name was Monsieur Caro. Monsieur Caro. Correct. Mons Monsieur Caro. I, I heard him very well. Mm, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, is there something I can help with you? Mm, sorry, Sinab. Um, not, not particularly or anything. We were actually just um, going to pay a visit to this fine establishment behind you, and I just thought that we'd be uh, friendly and introduce ourselves. And uh, uh, yeah. Yes, I was inspecting the building myself. I am a sort of, uh, how you say, investor uh, from far overseas uh, in the other continent, uh, Algenor. You have heard? Yes, no. yes. Oh, okay. Uh, that is okay. Uh, but you mentioned uh, kisses, mon chéri. Why do you mention that? My my friends were going to ask why you have not been kissed. Oh, my God. Great. I just suppose a <laughs> question <laughs> one can ask most days. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I'm walking away. <laughs> She's covering her face. She's just turned around and walked away. <laughs> is this friend, not why we approached them? Your friend, uh, she is in pain. She is ill. Probably, honestly. Um, uh, you know, maybe we should go check on her. Actually, um, <laughs> wonderful talking to you, sir. Um, and a welcome to the city. Um, I don't know if I'm. Uh, I can say that I'm also new, but you know what I mean. Uh, yes, uh, thank you for the kind uh, welcomes. Very awkward shuffle. <laughs> 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 Ooh, okay. I continue to smile. 
Hold he's on. gonna kiss you, bro. He's, he's gonna kiss you. He looks. Um, why don't you see what Cerisa's up to? Um, she said something about uh, what did you talk to you? So, Kegox, come, come, come hither. My, my battle sister wishes to speak to me. Good, good day to you. And Kegox like bows really, really low, like really low, and walks away. I thought for a second you were gonna give him a little smooch on the cheek or something. <laughs> <I don't laughs> grab him! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> so, so Risa, did, did did you did you wish to to kiss the frog? <sighs> so Risa just lets out this sigh. He is still standing over there. This this can still happen. All we must do is ask. Hold on, I will ask for you. <laughs> no, no, King X. Hey, Monsieur Carroll. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you stop. That's right. Shh. No, no more making enemies of, of noblemen. No more. We were not hey. making an enemy. We were, we were discussing briefly. No, 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 no. This is the second time we run into a nobleman, and this is probably going to be the second time we we met. We. Go f in front of a the nobleman. other nobleman was not a frog. And I don't want to kiss a frog. They're still staring at you guys. <laughs> awesome. Listen, we don't have uh, to kiss you, 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 anybody. Leah, you, you catch out of like the corner of your, of your eye as the Monsieur Caro like leans over to his butler and just goes, "As the people of this city, they are odd, no? <laughs> I, I suppose the the culture is different here. We shall have to get used to it." <laughs> She just kind of like grabs Kegox, tries to shake him, but she's just so tiny. She's like, "Why can't we just make a good she, she just grabbed. She just grabbed his his like fur. <laughs> she's tugging at him. He's not moving. He's just staring straight down at her. Why can't we just make a good impression with the noble folk? Why do we have I'm, to keep? I bowed to someone that I do not know. That I that is very good. I yes. just talked about kisses. Listen, I wouldn't yeah, say that was the worst impression. He doesn't seem... Going to really... attempt to salvage this, everyone. Oh, God. I think maybe we just... Oh, <laughs> no, I I'm going... I will try my best. I, I You're going to have to kiss him, Leah. You're going to have to at this point, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to do that. No, Kega. Kega. Oh, God. You're just grabbing Kega. do not go back over there. Could do not. Should but I, we must I go charm inside. him? Do, do I need to charm him? Yes, I... we must go inside, but no, let... not charm him, as, as someone yeah. from the city, perhaps, perhaps I can tell him places to go so that it seems like he's like, wow, these guys are super nice. And then he, like, doesn't think we're super weird and, like, report us to, like... I think we maybe have already crossed the weird bridge. Did, I think... Did, did I hear him say that we were odd? Did I happen to hear that? With my big elephant ears? Uh, well, your, your, your perception's more for your nose than your ears. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. I'll, say, I'll yeah. say Leah. Leah was closest. So okay. I'll say Leah. Leah heard it. We don't want to be arousing suspicion with the rich folk, so I will attempt to just smooth things over, and then we can go inside. Okay. They're not blocking the entrance. We could just go inside, honestly. Yes, but they're, but they're going to think we're weird because they think we're weird. They think we're weird. <laughs> I heard them say that they think we're weird. We are weird. <laughs> True, but <laughs> not every nobleman in the city needs to think that. Thank you, Leah. <laughs> tell him that we do not wish to arouse him. No. Don't tell him that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to be saying that. I, you said we do not want to arouse suspicion, therefore we don't want to arouse him. Oh my god! Oh, you're, not, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I'm not going to be saying anyway. Okay, guys, stay here. All right, just stay put. Okay. If you need me to charm him, I, I can. But I, I don't should think... be. No. I will no. lay on the the local charm. Right. Uh, You've got this. No, I've got this. I hope you're eloquent. 
Um, yes, I will do my best. Um, so Leah walks over to very coolly. I Mr. Carol. Yes, very coolly. You know, she looks like <laughs> she's sweating. <laughs> she's sweating. <laughs> Hello, Moshe. Uh, was there something you forgot? Not forgot, per se, Monsieur Caro, but I am a local of the city, so if you'd like, I would be more than happy to recommend places for you to visit as an investor. Ah, well, I, I suppose I will not turn that down. Wonderful. Um, well, I don't know if you've been there yet, but there is a shopping district, um, the Merchant's Round. That could be a good place to start. Wonderful. Yes, I, I see. Um, there is also a wonderful bathhouse that I can recommend um, that is on the easterly side of the city. Uh, you must go there. Miss ha Miss ha it's Miss Haven? Miss Haven? Am I wrong? Is that what it is? <laughs> Am yeah. I wrong? Oh, okay. I see, I see. Uh, well, it would be uh, nice also to relax after a long day. Uh, Laurent, write that down. And the butler begins to, uh, to jot it down. Alright, um, anyway, if you have any questions about the city, just, you yeah. know, I'm sure anyone would be more than happy to, to answer your question. I promise, we're all a very nice folk. Um, my friends behind me are a little uh, different. They are not from the city, so... <laughs> Athena waves. Ah, uh, yes, uh, I see. I, I did think their behavior uh, a little odd, but uh, as a well-traveled man, I am I'm used to odd. Of course. Um, we were just hoping that you wouldn't find offense in their uh, actions. No, 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 no offense oh. taken. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank goodness. All right. Well, um. I hope you enjoy the city. We're going to go check out the Alchemusium. So, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, sir. And you as well, Mon Jani. Leah kind of gives him like gives a little. A, gives you a little half curtsy. Oh my god. Leah, Leah does a little, little curtsy <laughs> as well. He goes back to the group. She goes, All right, I think I smoothed that over pretty well, guys. I think that worked pretty well. Okay, good. He honestly seems very kind. I mean, yes, I didn't no, think there was going to be a problem. Yes, He's no, he, he he said he wasn't offended by our behavior. So, <laughs> big win, as the children say. Big win. Say. Okay, let's let's go, 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 go. Yes, <laughs> let's go. Out of character, where did he say that he was from? Uh, he said he was it from must... the park content, and he said he was from Eldrina. <laughs> okay, all right, um, got it. Which. For the familiar <laughs> and the fact that he has a French accent would imply that he's from Lyrethe. Specifically within Algenor. Cool. Noted. Giggles! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> no response. <laughs> Cannot do anything without stress. Cerisa so would like to pinch Leah's arm. Yes, sorry. Now give it a good pinch. Yes, Sarisa. <laughs> I'm not the different one. It's you guys. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> you were talking about kissing frogs. Sarisa, <laughs> Sarisa. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sarisa, your friends are normal. It was a reference to a popular story. Did nobody else read that as a kid? Yes, it's a fairy tale. Sarisa, will you never read books version of the fairy tale, you kiss a walrus. What? Oh. Oh, well, is, how would you even do the tusks, right? They would get in the way. The whiskers tickle. Oh. To be fair, <laughs> my father used to tell me a version of that story where you dissected the frog instead. Oh it was God. quite interesting. Oh, should should we ask Wait, him that's... if we should dissect him? Oh, I, I wonder if his no, bones no, no, are no, a different okay. shape. Hey, no, uh, mm, that's no, not polite. No, Maybe we don't ask that. Yes. Just gonna start pushing them for no, yes, no, yes. no, no. yes. Does the frog does the frog still become a prince in that version? Um, Would he no, not I believe he stays dead. He just dies. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's okay. It was a way of my father trying to incentivize me to like 
actually help out around the lab instead of reading all the time. Okay. Well, I wouldn't recommend that on on a a person or a frog. Um, unless they're dead. Unless they're dead. Yes, unless they are dead. That's fine then. And then it's fair game. Uh, but uh, you make your way into the uh, the alchemyseum uh, between those twin doors and into uh, a sort of lobby um, where there are some some couches to wait, but also uh, there are, is a desk uh, sort of in the center of the room uh, where a woman sits. Uh, she sort of looked at you guys as you entered and then saw that you were sort of in the middle of an argument and just patiently waited for you guys to, to drift <laughs> off of that of that train of thought. Um, and uh, as Teresa approaches, she says, uh, Hello there. Um, can I help you? Greetings. My name is Sarisa, agent of Lady Dietra of Earl Halai. How tall is this desk? Uh, <laughs> I need to know. You kind of have to go on your tiptoes a little bit. <laughs> yes. So she just kind of like pops up on her tiptoes. <laughs> Uh, an well, agent of, of Dietra the Flame Tender, you mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, um, well, uh, she, like, flips through the book. I didn't see any appointment for anything like that. Um, uh, did you mm. arrange an appointment? Ah, uh, my apologies. I wasn't aware this was, uh, an establishment that needed appointments. Uh, well, uh, Madam Phaedra is a, a busy woman. I see, I see. Um, one second, let me talk to my companions here. She goes over to start and, like, holds up her hand to her ear. <laughs> <Little> <laughs> telephone. <laughs> Message! <laughs> Alright, messaging. Guys, uh... It's appointment only. Why is it appointment? Wait a minute. It. I thought this was just like an explosives shop. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's say appointments only. <laughs> she just asked if you had one. Oh wait. Oh well. That's the reason took that as guys. It's appointments only. So if we, we make have give her her money, we could probably bribe her into giving us an appointment. Uh, That's true. Uh, I, I have heard that that works. I'll ask. I'll ask. I'll ask. I'll ask. Um, how much money does she want? Yes. Ask no, how much money she desires. Anyway, um, apologies. Did you say was appointment only or? Uh, well, it it depends on the purpose for your visit, I suppose. If you if you wanted to meet with with Madame Phaedra, then then yes, you will likely need an appointment. But uh, if you just wanted to. Uh, commission something, perhaps, uh, from the alchemists, then uh, I can take that order down now. Ooh, yes. Um, a commission. Mm. Oh, one second. Excuse me. <laughs> Telephone. <laughs> Message. Yeah, How I are we supposed to tell this nice lady that we want a bomb? <laughs> um, well, you know, obviously, I'm sure they're used to it. She doesn't know what we need it for. Uh, we could just... Perhaps, I You mean, know, I... just See? tell her we're going on a, a, a mining expedition. Ooh. That's normal, right? That's what people do. I mean, if you're like me, and you're an agent of Lady Deidre, that could be plaus uh, plausible. See, there you go. And that's how you've already introduced yourself, right? So it, she seems to know who you are or, and where you come from. So, you know, I feel like that's a good enough. Just say it's Lady Dietra business. I don't think she'll question that. <laughs> I don't I don't like that mischievous giggle, but all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just need yes? to be reminded of the details. You see, this is... um. Uh, important business for my lady. Very well. And, uh, we would like... Was it spe Okay, out of character. Was it specifically a bomb? Like... Something to blow up a floor. 
Okay. Or a section uh, of a floor. Some explosive, you know. Some I, explosives. I, I'm not. I don't have the technical term. Okay. <laughs> well, um, we would like to commission, if possible, uh, some explosives. Ah, uh, well, I'm afraid that we actually have rather strict rules about manufacturing for the public uh, anything that may be construed as a weapon. Uh, you see, there were issues uh, not too long ago, and oh, so no. Madame Phaedra has actually uh, placed uh, sort of sanctions on, on what specifically the alchemists can craft for the time being. And I, I'm afraid that bombs fall under that category. Don, really? We did need something yes, well, for this. You know alchemists. They can be... create. Mm. But not to worry, not to worry. Uh, the alchemist in mention has been thoroughly reprimanded and will not craft anything like that while working under this roof ever again, I assure you. Mm, I see. I see. And there's no way we can convince you. Uh, this is for my... I'm afraid lady. not. I am just Madame Flager's secretary. I, I, all I do is take down the commissions, that's all. It's not my job to make the rule. Oh. But if you'd like to discuss it with Madame Phaedra, I, I can make you an appointment. Hmm. One moment, please. Telephone. That's <laughs> 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 my second mate. She said no to the bomb. What? Yeah, she said they really oh, don't do it anymore. No way. Why do that? There's many reasons that one would need a bomb that don't involve harm to people. Mm, well, <laughs> As she says that, she doubts her own words. Mm -hmm. so, there, so, there might be a workaround. A workaround? So, there are things that are explosive. But are not necessarily explosive. Mm. I don't know. Perhaps it's... we could get some sort of volatile compound and then figure it out ourselves. Well, but I'm not exactly sure what an alchemist would call that. What does volatile mean? Uh, it um, explodes. It's unstable. So if we did something to it. For example, take you know, any sort of flammable liquid. If you set it on fire, it's going to get on fire. But it in and of itself is not on fire already. Do you understand? So like alcohol. It is a, yes, like alcohol. Alcohol is volatile because if you set fire to it, it's going to catch fire very quickly and very fast. Depending on how strong the alcohol is. Why do we not get strong alcohol? Because alcohol doesn't blow up. It just burns. Do you know of something that does blow up when mixed with something? Would Leah know of something that would blow up? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Leah, but an alchemist sure might. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> well, we I know, if only we could we find know one of those. Don't we? If, if she cannot commission a bomb... Maybe a liquid that is flammable enough. Mm. Well, she did mention that there was an alchemist that did make something of the explodey variety that no longer works under this roof. That's not Maybe. what she said. Uh, no, she's not. Oh my god. She, she said the alchemist had been reprimanded and that he did still work here. Oh, but we'll never okay. make something like that again. Oh, okay. Wait, just, we just, know, so that's, we just so that's not misconstrued. We know, misconstrued. Her, we know an alchemist. We need to speak to this man. We need we to speak to this man. What was that, Gren? I just said, just so that that's not misconstrued. That's technically what she said. No, it's not. Oh, uh, yeah, no okay, okay. My bad, my bad. Okay. Uh, I relay this information to the group because apparently I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know the name of that alchemist? Could we talk oh. to him? We know, her. We, know, her. we know we know but we know creek rocks right the guy in the basement is he, he's an alchemist he's an alchemist do we think he could is he an alchemist the bird man i mean he already said he'd help us with 
the whole romance thing, perhaps we could give him incentive to help us Ooh. here. Ooh, maybe, because the last thing I'd want is to raise suspicion uh, about, you know, somebody trying to commission a bomb. That's you know? true, that's true. Hello, we would like to buy a bomb, please. One bomb for your most favorite criminal. Oh, okay, Cerisa <laughs> is being pushed back over to the desk. Um, or, or woman. Or woman. Um, well, um, would it be possible if we could speak to, uh, the lady in charge here? Uh, the lady. You want to speak with Madame Phaedra then? Well, you would. You will need an appointment. Uh, but, See? um, she starts to, like, flip through her page. Um, uh, Madame Phaedra is quite busy. Uh, but you are an agent of Lady Deatra, as you say. Um, mm -hmm. so I suppose I could, I could bump you up a little bit um uh, the earliest i can get you in is a year and that is bumping you up oh i'm not sure my lady can wait that long hmm one moment please she's gonna turn back around to the, the, the one the one who worked here who works here who still works here we need to speak to One second. Uh, telephone. <laughs> <laughs> we probably shouldn't try to rouse suspicion, right? I'm not crazy right. or anything, right? So maybe we shouldn't try to be all like, hey, we want to work around by talking to the person that, you know, made the explosion that you guys uh, reprimanded. You know? These long periods of actual silence yeah. while a mental conversation is going on <laughs> is very suspicious. No, 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 no. You guys are my companions. I'm talking to you. It's not suspicious. This is business dealings. This is how it works. Um. Yeah, I honestly, I don't know. Maybe, She's... you know, maybe we put our name down for the appointment and then there's and some kind of cancellation. Well, no, 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 no. We then seek out our other alternative in the alchemist that we do know. And if there's some type of cancellation, maybe we get bumped up, you know. Never hurts to have a backup plan. Uh, fine, okay. I will have this be written down. And we could cancel it! <laughs> it's beauty of an appointment. <laughs> Uh, there better not be a cancellation fee, or I'm gonna be furious. Uh, maybe, yeah, wait, ask about that. And you guys are gonna that. pay for it. Okay, okay, fine, I'll ask. Ask about a cancellation fee! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, and then Sarisa's gonna turn back around and be like, Alright, I've discussed it with my companions. Uh, we will go ahead and be, uh, arranging an appointment. Very well. Uh, for the date I specified, then. Yes, please. Thank you. Very well. And uh, what name should I put down? Um, Sarisa. Oh. Very well. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you just hear that in your head. <laughs> uh, she kind of jots it down. She's got like sort of this this lengthy calendar that she's flipping through, and she jots that down into one of the little squares. And you see her actually write down like agent of Dietro. Beneath it. Oh, um, there's not a cancellation fee, is there? Uh, well, there is if you cancel within 24 hours of the appointment. Uh, Madame Phaedra is very busy, and if you waste her time, then we will ask that you pay for it, at least. Ah, no, no, that, that makes sense. Now, I will have to, uh, discuss this matter with... Well, I'll send her a letter and let her know. My Lady Ditra, that is. <laughs> Very well. Uh, and there was nothing you wanted to commission? Mm, well, sadly, you've told me that we cannot commission the thing that we need. So, mm, perhaps if... No, but uh, <laughs> our alchemists are very capable and talented. Of course. I'm sure they are. Of course they are. You mm, could speak I'll... with them if you wish. Mm. Oh. Yes. Perhaps I one of them might know some sort of alternate means to what you're trying to accomplish. <gasps> yes, 
I we can't be... officially make you explosives, no, but there are plenty of other ways to, to mine or whatever it is you're trying to do. <gasps> yes, yes, that'd be perfect. Thank you. Uh, would you like me to take you to, on a tour? I don't Ooh. usually just give out tours, but since you are an agent of Flame Tender, you can make this exception. Mm. Why, thank you so much. And Suri's going to turn around and give everybody a thumbs up. <laughs> and then he gives a double thumbs up back. Your assistants are welcome to come along, too. Mm. Oh, I appreciate that. Come now, I give assistants. a triple thumbs up. Two thumbs what? plus Whoa. a trunk. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. And she's like, Crazy. come, come, assistants. We'll be, we'll be going on a tour. <laughs> assistants. Well, you were my assistant yesterday, so that's that's fine, actually. I think we're the best assistants ever, to be quite honest. I have assisted her quite a lot. I pick her up sometimes and put her down. <laughs> we lost our tour guide. One moment. All right. Uh, so she stands from the table. Uh, and says, very well then, if you want to do the tour right now, uh, please come with me. I will see which of our alchemists, uh, are not too busy at the moment. Perhaps you can consult with one of them. And so she leads you through the door and you walk out into a, uh, sprawling workshop floor. Uh, upon which you see uh, contraptions of all kinds uh, that you have really just never seen before. Uh, the extent of the complex uh, magic occurring here is uh, a little astounding. Uh, you can see all sorts of uh, things made from, from metal and wood that all have uh, sort of crystal embedded into them uh, that slowly begin to turn and move uh, as steam rises up and is gathered by the... Uh, smoke stacks in the ceiling and so the secretary uh, leads you all on um, and you sort of along this uh, this high up walkway and the the workshop floor is far below you uh, but you can see a staircase that leads down oh. right this way mm, yes come along assistants no dwaddling <laughs> Oh, but sorry, like Lady Sarisa. We were just sorry to get all our things. <laughs> That's Doddle, Andina. That's Doddle. I really, I, I really enjoy Doddling. That's Doddle together. She I mean, can't yell at both of us. She can't, she can't fire both of us. Yes. Wink. Wink. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Sarisa, Sarisa, the secretary kind of like leans her head to look past you at your assistance. And Sarisa will turn around and be like, oh, e excuse me. Ahem! <laughs> uh, one moment, please. Sarisa's so gonna stomp over. Hi, you're supposed to be my good assistance. You sounded like you needed a drink. Here, have a drink from my water skin. And I, gi I give her my water skin. Because she cleared her throat earlier. <laughs> so he's will take it, but just look a little, like, disgruntled. He's I am you assisting you. Yes, I am see? assisting you. Yes. Oh, but Lady Sarisa, we love to look at the colorful little lights and everything. It's all so Won't you just permit us to Lady, look at everything? Please. Lady Sarisa. It has been so long since we looked at the pretty lights, please. <laughs> oh, please. Kegox gets on his knees and begs. <laughs> He's still taller than all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarisa's starting to get all red in the face and she hands the water skin back to Kaya. She's like, ah, oh, fine, you guys twaddle that. 
and she just stomps back over. It's no fun when she's mad. We should stop totally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ready to begin the tour then? Yes, I do apologize. My uh, assistants were just distracted, is all. <laughs> Very well. Uh, now, behind me is uh, Madame Phaedra's office. Uh, you can see behind her there's a door uh, on the far side at the end of the walkway uh, that is uh, sort of like, uh, like a misted glass door um, that has lettering on it. Uh, in gold that reads uh, uh, Phaedra Philomena Aventus Ooh. Hmm. Uh, and uh, she says uh, but as I said uh, Madam Phaedra is uh, very busy uh, but uh, I'll take you down to the workshop floor but of course uh, I must ask that you refrain from touching anything the alchemists will be quite cross if you meddle with their work I understand. And Ceres will turn to the others and be like, Do you hear that, my assistants? No touching anything. Not to mention that it could also be incredibly dangerous. I'd hate for you to reach out and touch something only to lose that finger. You hear that? You lose a finger if you touch anything. <laughs> Athena, like, salutes. She's like, Yes, my lady, Ceresa, of course, I will not touch anything at all. Good. Agok stares at his trunk. They mentioned losing fingers. And I let the thought go. <laughs> <laughs> I let the thought go. <laughs> Very well. Uh, shall we? She makes her way down the stairs and uh, begins to kind of lead you through uh, the workshop floor, uh, sort of taking careful uh, aim to, to avoid uh, stepping in the way of any of the alchemists as they work. You can see sort of um, like a mess of, of different countertops and, and workstations all spread throughout the floor, uh, where uh, many different uh, alchemists all work. Uh, you can see that each of them is kind of focused on their own thing. None of them really pay you any mind as you uh, walk down there. Uh, occasionally you get a glance from one of them, but they almost immediately get back to work. You can see uh, uh, humans, goblins, gnomes, all sorts of pe people uh, just kind of working and, and milling about uh, in the workshop floor. Uh, and the secretary, uh, who you've not asked the name of, no. uh, <laughs> turns back towards you. Uh, Sarisa, and notices that you are two assistants shy. I... I can't, like, block them. Uh, well, they are uh, high up on a walkway and just also, like, not present there. So she notices that they are yes. not there. Uh, you seem to be, um, two assistants short. Ma'am. And she turns around and she's like... <sighs> she just lets out this... <sighs> Sigh. Uh, well, uh, we've hardly even begun the tour. Uh, shall we double back and get them then? Um, I'll go get them if that's all right. Miss, uh, Well, um... I'm afraid I can't leave you alone in the workshop floor, so we'll have to accompany you, uh, shall we? I can't leave them alone either, so uh, I'm really not oh, asking. Yeah. I'm suggesting that we go back and get them. Oh, yes, I do apologize. Mm -hmm. I messaged Leah and Kagox. <laughs> Guys, guys, get back here right now. She's very strict. It's kind of scary. What are you doing? Uh, if you pressed your, your ear to the door there, you wouldn't really hear too much. Okay. I was trying to hear if if the lady that we, we set a meeting up with was there, because if she is here, then we can speak to her. Logistically. But Kekox, we're, we're taking a tour. We, we can't just leave in the middle of the tour. What is a tour? They're showing us around the facility, um, so that we can see what's going on and, and learn more about the processes. Oh, like, like a guide, the book. like a like a yes, wilderness exactly. guide. And she's taking time out of her very busy schedule to guide us. So maybe we go back. Yeah, I turn yeah, to the secretary. 
I just go, I, I am very, very sorry, ma'am. Um, you, us three assistants, we are, we are just assistants, and we are actually new to this city, and so we're just so fascinated by everything, and really need to take a, a good long look at all of the new things that we are experiencing. Isn't, isn't that right? Two other assistants. There's like a little bit of a vein <laughs> protruding on her forehead. Um, but she says, uh, again, I really must ask that you refrain from bothering Madame Phaedra. She is very busy. <clears throat> yes, I I do apologize for my assistant's behavior. Do not worry. After this, I will be giving them a stern talking to. And she turns and glares daggers at Kaox and Leah. Not a yes, stern talking I, to. I, I, I imagine... And I imagine that you might have to do so, as I would hate for any behavior on their part to reflect poorly on you, and therefore reflect poorly on Flame Tender Deatra in turn. Mm-hmm. And she's gonna cross her arms and look at the three of you. So that means no more poor behavior, or reflect poorly on Lady Deatra. Yes, my apologies, Lady Sorisa. Thank you. And you will still be getting a stern talking to later. Oh, oh God. We were getting stern a stern talking, talking to twos are the now. worst. <laughs> She's so ruthless. <laughs> she waits to make sure you all descend the stairs this time. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all descending the stairs. <laughs> Very carefully. I went down the stairs. I'm getting an A plus and being a fake assistant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now then, uh, where were we? Uh, here we have uh, Alchemist Maka and Alchemist Miles, uh, who are specialists in distillation. And she continues on. Uh, you can see these uh, fellows just kind of quietly working. They give you a couple glances, but don't really pay you much mind. Even if I wave? Uh, this guy just gets back to work. This guy just kind of gives you, like, a confused wave, and then goes back to work. <laughs> okay, alright, okay. Anything, I'll take anything. Uh, and then she makes her way over here. Um, and she, she points towards the, uh, the gnomish fellow, uh, and says, uh, this is Smell trick, our expert in potions. Uh, and the other two are uh, Eric and Genevieve, our spell scribes. Hmm. And likewise, you can see that uh, the two of them have just bundles of parchment, all uh, dotted with uh, countless runes. And the other fellow has a little station set up where he just has... Uh, Numerous bottles of glowing potions spread throughout, as well as a mortar, mortar and pestle that he is currently uh, grinding some sort of yellowish paste in. And he just kind of gives you like a little grunt of acknowledgement and nods as you walk on by. Uh, mind the, uh, mind the central harvester. Uh, pointing central towards harvester? the. Ah, well, uh, I suppose if you're not from Marinhall, you might be unfamiliar. Uh, but we at the Alchemisium uh, are in charge of the windmills you may have seen throughout the city. Oh, I see. Uh, and the crystals embedded at the top of them uh, store up any energy harvested from uh, the wind turning the windmill and transported back here to our ley lines. And then in turn, we power some of the many, uh, well, faculties that you might have seen throughout the city as well. You might have seen the fountains that run themselves. Mm -hmm. Our handiwork. And she kind of makes her way over here. And Dana looks at Kagox and she's like, Did you the fountains? Is this a fountain? No, 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 but they, they help to run the fountains, I think. Hmm. 
Uh, so she takes you over to the corner where there's an Arakok Grin man uh, who is working at a little workstation, kind of tucked away in the corner almost on purpose. Um, and uh, she says, uh, last but not least is uh, Roar. Uh, now, she kind of drops her voice a little bit. Now, Roar is the one that I mentioned. Uh, but she has been thoroughly reprimanded and has promised and surely will not uh, do anything of the kind uh, again. Mm -mm, I see. Out of character. What was it that this uh, person did? The bird man? Bird person? Uh, well, she just mentioned that one of the alchemists had um, dabbled in things that they weren't uh, sanctioned to make. Ah, I see. And she said that one of the alchemists had been thoroughly reprimanded and advised to not do it again if he wanted to continue working. Mm. But, ah, I see. Ah, so this is the one. Ah, but, um, well, I suppose that's the summation of our tour. Uh, was there any questions you wanted to ask any of the particular alchemists? I know that they all seem quite busy, but they will take some time out of the day to answer questions, if you wish. Hmm. Well. <clears throat> I feel like I'm being put on the spot. <laughs> what, the boss. What, what else do, do these do? Other than the fountains? Do they I mean, do anything else? You mean essential wind harvester? The yes, this thing. Uh, well, the system put in place uh, runs a lot of uh, fresh water to the citizens of the city, uh, so the fountains are more just a small section of that. What would the you large might... section of that be? Well, running water to the citizens, uh, we are on the ocean here, so the wells would be pulling up ocean water, if not for our administration. What of sewers? Uh, well, we aided in the construction of the sewers, uh, but we don't run them, they run themselves. Hmm. Mm. Kagok stores that one away in his little peanut. <laughs> The Alchemysium has sort of specialized since we aided in the construction and enhancement of the city, but, well, as of right now, the whole system sort of runs itself. And so we've now specialized into commissions. It's uh, on Madame Phaedra's decision-making. She did found the place, after all. Ooh, yeah. Oh, and I do not believe our tour is over, for we did not get your name. Ma'am? Ah, well, I am uh, Esteen. Esteen, thank you. Hmm, now, on to our business. Um, would it be any trouble just to... Like you said, we can talk to them. I would like to discuss some options with your alchemist. About my Lady Dietra's important mission. Very well, uh, if you have any sort of... Uh, questions, I would say yes, ask them rather than me. I I'm, again, just the secretary. Oh, they would be able to answer your questions more than I. Is there anyone in particular you wanted to speak to? Hmm. Uh, one moment, please. Suze is gonna <laughs> scamper over to the group <laughs> and raise a little telephone hand. Is it suspicious if we talk to the one that has built bombs before? I feel like he's going to be our best bet, but I don't want to seem, um... Right? I mean... He does seem like the perfect candidate, but again, I do not want to raise any suspicions. Though maybe I could ask him some, like, explosive alternatives? Like the secretary was mentioning? Yeah. Maybe... Well, we do need... We were thinking about getting a scroll of silence done. So perhaps we could split the group. Um, and if she comes over to monitor us, because we're... If, if Kagox and I go over, because we're the rambunctious problematic ones in her mind, she'll have to come with us, and then you'll be free to ask Rook whatever questions you want. 
what? Uh, do you think she said she wasn't allowed to leave any of us alone? I mean, we're what? within eyesight. It's, right, you know. we're within eyesight. But I feel like she would want to keep a closer eye on Hagops and I. Hmm, that's fair. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask. Did it. she not say that we might get uh, thrown out? Yeah, or is that something I, I is that something I thought I I heard? Uh, well, now that you bring it up, I'm terrified of us getting thrown out. So, mm. yes, but we're not doing anything wrong. We're just dividing and conquering you, you can say you've sent your assistance to go talk to someone while you go talk to rourke uh, okay it's not but... bad to talk to people uh, yeah but <laughs> i don't want us to get kicked out all right fine i'll ask and we better not get kicked out all right all right uh so i have I've talked to my assistants, and we do need a few things. Is it alright if we split up into two groups to talk well, I, to Well, we'll have to ask that you don't split up the tour party. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I was discussing with my assistants, reminding them that you did specifically say we weren't supposed to split up. And so we like turn and look at everybody. It's just in the, it's in the same room. That's really uh, this is in your head, not out loud. But yes, of course we'll respect that, and we will stick together. That being said, I would like to hmm, talk to who was this again, Rorik? Uh, Rorik, yes. Yes, if that's all right. Very well. Step All, right. Aside. All right, come along, assistants. Do we have to step over the pole? Uh, uh, these are these are these are pipes that are high overhead. Oh, overhead. Oh, okay. Oh, right. oh okay. Step Can Kagox <laughs> step under them? Yeah, that's actually a good question. Yeah. Kagox has to duck his head. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he's just gonna approach a uh, bird person. Uh, he's kind of like tinkering with something as you approach, but um, he looks up and says, uh, I'll help you. Ah, yes, perhaps you can. My name is Ceresa, an agent of Lady Deatra. Who? Oh. Ceresa, kid's actually a little huffy. <laughs> <laughs> um, the flame tender of Urhalai. As a city, right? Yes, it it, it is. Hmm. Right. Well, did you need something then? Uh, 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 yes. Uh, you see, I'm on a very important mission for my lady, and we are in need of things—things things that hmm, skilled alchemists can make for us. All right, well, you came to the right place, then. Yes, yes. I cannot divulge in a lot of the details of this mission, but we are in need of mm, something of the explosive variety. However, I have been told that... He like, yeah, he starts to say something before you say however. <laughs> <laughs> and then he stops I... when, you, when you cut him off. <laughs> I, I was told that... We are unable to commission you all for that. So we are looking for some alternatives. Yes, I am not... I'm no longer sanctioned uh, to produce such uh, things, I suppose. Um, so I, I cannot help you with uh, any sort of Explosives. He's like, his, his eyes keep darting to Esteen as he's talking to yeah. you. So I am afraid that I cannot help you there. Uh, but if you did want to, I know you said you couldn't, but if you did want to describe the job to me, then I could recommend an alternative. Mm, it's a mining endeavor, but that's all I can say. 
Right. Well, then I do have to break it to you that explosives are quite useful for mining. Mm. One moment, please. Cereza turns to the others and brings up a little little hand. <laughs> this is so not subtle. <laughs> <laughs> Reese's middle name isn't subtle, all right? <laughs> Rook just like looks at Estine and just like shrugs at her. <laughs> so he's just like, guys, we, uh, he, he broke it. Why to can't me. they just make us a bomb? It's not that I complicated. What would you suggest for mining? Well, you can start with a pickaxe. Alchemist. Start with a pickaxe, mate. Uh. Say we got so far with mining tools, manual mining tools. What then? If we did bomb. not have the... <laughs> oh, man. If, if a bomb is not an option. Listen, all I'm saying is that I cannot make you a bomb. I did not ask that. I asked for an answer to my question. How difficult is it to answer a question? I looked at Antina and Cerise. <laughs> can I, can I message him, and just be like, you want? if we don't talk about it, could you make us a bomb? Yeah, of course. That's what I was trying to stress. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it's Bob talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bloody love making bombs. <laughs> I like I this, guy. this guy. King <laughs> yeah, I love him. New beloved NPC. <laughs> and she messages back. Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, yes, yes, thank God. Okay, um, I don't know when, whenever you, uh, how could we meet you about this? Obviously, we can't talk about it here. Mm, well. I get off work around eight, so. Okay, all right. Um, I think there's a festival or something tonight that we're attending, so I'm not sure how, what time we could get there. But we're staying at the Tipsy Quipper. If you just go there and, um, you know, have a drink, whatever. Um, just say that you're with us, and they'll put it on our tab. So you know. All right, I'll swing by. So, thank you. Oh my god, your boss is such a stickler, this is actually crazy. Why can you not just build bombs for people who don't get it? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> now, as I said, I cannot make you all a bomb. I'm really sorry, but I cannot help you. He's oh, saying that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Were we also in on this, like, message with... Uh, no, not in it that, but I'll, I'll message you. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, now I message you guys, like, individually. And just say, guys, he's gonna meet us at the Quipper. He can make us a ball. We just can't talk about it right here. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> and then Cerise would just be like, ah, oh, of course. Darn. I will just have to send a, a letter to my lady and figure something else out. Oh, that's so... It's disappointing. I, we we yeah, know how very, much you want. Very sorry to disappoint, but rules are rules, yeah. and I like to follow them. Certainly, oh. and you know, mad respect to you, sir, for following the rules. Mad yeah. respect. <laughs> mad respect. <laughs> <laughs> respect to you, sir. <laughs> uh, now, was there <laughs> any other questions you had, or was that it? Uh, Teresa's so gonna message <laughs> uh, so do we want to get a scroll of silence commissioned here or what it might be the easiest plan since we're already here can they do uh, that can can they do that here well there's the, the guys that do the uh, eric and genevieve they can, you, we can, right? can you them? okay yeah yeah okay cool um well we do need a a scroll of silence though I suppose we might need to be talking to your, um, uh, fellows, yes? Hmm. Yeah, Eric and Genevieve can handle that. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your time. I do appreciate it. Uh, no problem. Yeah. And Cerise is gonna hold out her hand for a handshake. She shakes. He shakes your hand. Again, 
very sorry for having to disappoint. But, uh, oh, not at all. rules are not rules. Mm -hmm. Rules are rules. All right, now, my assistants, let's go get, uh, let's go get going or whatever. Uh, we need to scroll, scroll time. Come on. <laughs> she starts to hurry the others along. Do you think we should get another scroll that's not just silent? So that it doesn't seem suspicious that we've been asking about bombs and then getting a scroll of silence? Oh, what? It's, but it's to cover the mining thing. We don't want to upset the people that or Im cause a lot of noise for the people surrounding the mining location. Imagine if I could fit into someone's pocket. What? I don't know if that's oh. relevant right now, Kagox, but uh, no, no, we can no, imagine think... that. No, 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 no. I think Kagox is onto something. I could Did be I... very, very small and get into small places like mining holes. Yes. Right. Yes. Mining. And not only uh, that, the scroll of silence could to be prevent uh, cave-ins and stuff. I don't know. Right? What are we talking about? I don't... Mining. Of course. We're talking about Lady Teacher's mining mission. That's what Wait. we're talking about. Can one of you send me a message of what exactly it is we're talking about? Because we've thrown so many metaphors into the mix. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> First I was like, okay, silence. What the, what the hell are you talking about, Kagox? Are you, I'm <laughs> thinking that there should be a spell that could make me very, very tiny. Smaller than I Cerisa. Oh, well, I can half you, but that's it. Half you. Is, there, is there something that makes you smaller than that? Is that possible? Oh, I do can, not know. We can ask, all right? If that is that to... is why I said we should ask. Yes, we should ask. If you guys want us to look less suspicious, it doesn't hurt to ask. All right, now let's go. We're already looking a little suspicious. Come on, let's go. We are whispering rather loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she's back. <laughs> <laughs> She's He's like just walking along with you. We're here to cause problems. Just mm -hmm. kidding. No, we're not. We're the most perfect assistants ever. A plus mm -hmm. assistants, to be yep. sure. Yep, yep, yep. I smile. Hmm. The best yeah, so when she pointed towards the spell scribe, she pointed towards the elven woman and the human man. And they were just kind of working away at their own little cubbies here. Cerise is up. Uh, the woman glances up to see you, Cerise, as you approach. It says, uh, uh, Hi there, can I help you? I need a uh, spell yes. commissioned. Uh, um, if possible. Um, all right, all right. My name is Cerise. I am a, an agent of Lady Ditra, flame tender of Urhalai. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know if I've had such a lofty client before. <laughs> Cerise looks very proud. But yes, I am on a mission for my lady, and we are in need of some uh, spell scrolls. Very well. Uh, which ones, to be precise? Hmm. Would there, would you be able to make us a scroll of uh, silence and uh, maybe another one that can reduce someone's size? Hmm, uh, pretty simple reduction charm, pretty simple, uh, silencing spell. Uh, yes, I think I can whip those both up. Ooh, wonderful. I oh, might no. even have a, a scroll of enlarge slash reduce, as I like to call it. Ooh. <laughs> Lying around here somewhere. Leah, Leah messages you, Sarissa, and goes, I have that spell. You, t you don't need to take that one. I have it. Yeah, okay. But... If we have access to a scroll, would that not mean that you don't have to spend the spell slot? Ooh, good point. Mm, that is true. Hmm. I've seen shamans do this. I've seen shamans do this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. Wait. Never uh, mind, Oh, uh, Okay. <laughs> but, but wait. 
Do we have the money for these scrolls right now? It's a great question. No, oh, no. I have I, seven gold. I oh, wait a minute. Forty-five. Yeah, I have forty. We got money for. What did we get we money got, from? What did we get money for? Uh, um, drunk guy. We yeah. did the bank oh. thing, and and we were paid yes. for. It. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We were paid for that. Yes. Uh, did I put that in my own inventory? Yeah, I split it evenly among everybody. So. I have thirty-two gold. How much hmm. was it? Hold I up. don't remember. Hold up. Was it like 30 each? Or was it more? I think it right. was. I think it was 30 because I think Leah had 15 and then... I'm not sure though. Could be wrong. Uh, hmm. mm, so we might have enough for these scrolls. I don't... I don't know. Anyway, How much is a scroll? Uh, Sarisa will smile and say, um, how much will these cost, by the way? Just curious. Hmm, uh, well, for the both of them, you mean? Yes, for the both of them. Uh, well, between the two of them, around 40 gold, I think. Sarisa will turn around and give him a thumbs up. It's within the budget. <laughs> well, within the Yay. budget. Like, wonderful, yes, that will be perfect. 40 gold, yes. <laughs> Can we all uh, just say that I... we paid 10 each? Mm. What? Should I jot you down for that commission then? Uh, yes, please. It wouldn't be too much trouble. Very well. Uh, she kind of uh, moves through a ledger and begins to scrawl with a little uh, quill. Uh, silence and an allowance reduce. All right. Um, and now I, I do have the enlarge reduce scroll with me right now. If you just want to take that with you and pay for that, or you can come back tomorrow when I've had the silence spell ready uh, and pay for them both then. So uh, really, your choice. Mm. I'll go ahead since it's already uh, done. I'll pay for the one scroll. All right, so that'll be 20 gold right now, and then you can come back tomorrow, and it'll be another 20 for the silence spell. Wonderful. And Sarisa will take out the 20 gold and hand it to her. She takes it. Nice. All right. I lost. I, I'm 20 gold less richer, guys. We can split it. We'll split it. We could just say we each pay five. And she hands you a little tightly bound uh, parchment scroll uh, with a little wax seal that bears uh, a symbol that you saw in the lobby. Hmm. Oh, wait, did we say we were going to split it? Um, I don't mind having Cereza pay for the full thing. Well, you can decide later. Yeah, we can decide later. But yeah, all right, cool. Do I add that to my inventory? Uh, if you want to go and hunt for it, but I can just do it. Um, okay, cool. And she says, uh, "So I will um, I will have the silent scroll for you tomorrow, and you can pick that up at the secretary's desk. It'll be ready for you, and you can just pay there." Ooh, wonderful! Thank you so much. Of course. And thank you for your business. Cool. And so we just will scamper over. Be like, all right, we will have to come back tomorrow for the other scroll, my assistants. Sounds good, madam. We can add that to our very busy schedule. Yes, yes. All finished then, says Estine. Very well. Shall I lead us back out to the lobby? If you would be so kind. Thank you. Very well. She kind of gestures for you all to follow. as She begins to make her way back. Can I glimpse anything interesting on the tops of these desks? Uh, well, there's just a lot of stuff in general. <laughs> <laughs> anything Is there interesting? Anything in particular you're looking for? Um... 
I don't know. The, the secret on these, way. On, on these desks, there's stacks of books and uh, uh, scrolls and all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can see some of the alchemists' wands and stuff lying around, magnifying glasses. Um, on this desk, there's, you know, mortar and pestle, as well as just uh, all these little pouches, bottles, and um, bowls full of different uh, ingredients for potions, um, as well as potion bottles themselves, uh, and a book where uh, occasionally you'll see the gnomish alchemist kind of jot something down as he makes an adjustment to a recipe. Now, over here, you can see uh, some sort of strange arcane contraption that's just kind of slowly whirring in the corner. Uh, it's honestly, anyone's guess what it does. Um, but over here you can see uh, a couple more bottles of potions, books, and uh, some more components and ingredients for uh, all sorts of arcane rituals. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And so Steam now uh, leads you guys. This is such a jaunty little tune. <laughs> I feel jaunted as we are walking. Indeed. Is your um assistant coming? Mm. Very oh. good. Oh, there he is. Right this way. She extends a hand for you guys to go first. Right. Damn, nothing, nothing gets past this lady. Um, <laughs> he gave her a reason not to trust you. SMH guys. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Cerise is gonna skip along. And so you make your way back out into the lobby. Where Estine takes her place at her desk again. And uh, says, Well, uh, have a nice day then. And uh, I believe, according to your arrangements, we shall see you tomorrow. Yes, and thank you so much for the tour. Of course. All right, come along, assistants, and I have not forgotten the stern talking to you that you will be getting. And so you all turn and exit uh, the Alchemisium. Successful mission, guys. Yeah, we'll say these guys are gone by now. No! Aww. <laughs> Miss him already. <laughs> so we're we just gonna go over? Is this is this a pretty, you'd say, high railing or something, right? Oh yeah, it's sort of stone railings for the staircase. Nice. He's gonna lean over against it and go, Whoo! <laughs> Agox places a hand on Cerise's shoulder. You did excellent, my battle sister. Oh my gosh, that was so much talking. Oh yes, Cerise, you, you, you're quite a wonderful um, boss. <laughs> and Meyer, as well. Ab about this stern talking, too. Yes, oh my <laughs> gosh, guys. If y'all... Oh. That's right, I didn't forget, and you aren't getting away. If somebody <laughs> says they're gonna give us a tour, you don't go try and scamper off and do something else. <sighs> but we weren't scampering, we were dwaddling. Yes. It was fun. Teresa takes her hand, kind of 
curls it up into a fist, right? <laughs> Ever so slowly, and she kind of like looks like she's getting ready to frog somebody. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you 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 can't frog anybody. He's he's left already. He is gone. Sarisa would like the frog Kagox in the arm. <laughs> in the face! In the back! Right, that's wrong. Ah, it's not in the face, guys. Come on now. <laughs> Be funny. <laughs> I wait for the day that Sarisa punches someone square in the face. Real! I'm excited <laughs> for that day. <laughs> it's like, okay, dwaddling, whatever. We're trying not to look suspicious, guys. Ah! <sighs> You that lady a was... wonderful job, Sarisa. That lady Seriously. was terrifying. <laughs> uh, she was very... I don't even know. I mean, like, she Lady had... Calm Down. No, I, do... a... I don't know what counts as suspicious in, in this area, but uh... the amount of times we have mentioned the word bomb when we were told not to talk about bombs was uh... quite I... a lot. They're an alchemist. It's It's a... A bomb is a normal uh, thing. Well, we mentioned it was for a mining thing, so... Uh, and it's for my lady Dietra, so no one's gonna be suspicious of that. Exactly. Do, we, yeah. um, do, she would... do any of us look like we belong in a mine? Yeah, we're, not the, we're, not the, we're not the miners, but we're the people setting up the mining expedition, you know. Ahem. Do well, I look like... Do, fine, like... do I Mine's look like cramped. a treasure hunter? Be Guys, do I look like a treasure hunter? Yes. Yes. I mean, a little bit, yeah. Oh. Yes. You You've wear got a bunch of treasure an, on an you. Opulent you know. amount of gold. Yes. Oh. Yes. You look a, su a successful treasure hunter. Yes. One would say. Mm. Ha! I knew it. <laughs> Take that, Ulred. If if we did it based upon size, you have a very very good chance of being the best treasure hunter for your someone your size. Yes. This is true. Are you guys trying to imply something? I don't like how you said that. I'm implying that you are a very good treasure hunter for someone your size. You have an opulent amount of gold upon your personage. Okay, well, I look like a treasure hunter, and I said we're doing a mining thing. It's not suspicious. Yes, but oh. you could also be a very affluent merchant. Oh, really? This is true. If I were to be buying goods such as jewelry, I'd want to buy them from you, Sarisa. <laughs> and, and so as you guys make your way back down the steps out of the Alchemyseum, uh, you set your sights on your next target, uh, which according to your plan is to make your way along this same road until you pass by Greta's house. Is that still your plan? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We're just going to no. scope it out. I'm not going to scope out the joint. Yeah. Be very cool. Be very nonchalant. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, then, yeah, you make your way... Uh... Hang on. There we go. Mm, forgot to hit the light switch. Uh, so you make your way along that same road and uh, watching the uh, the little uh, metal numbers uh, that are uh, sort of embossed into some of these houses, you uh, eventually find uh, the one on the map that uh, was marked by Ivy, the Gretas. Did we egg her house, guys? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We can do that after we rob it. We gotta TP your house. Yeah. Yeah, uh, get the mm. bitch. And so as you're walking along, you see Greta's house on your left side. Alright, just scan in the place. Does it have windows? No windows. Mm. Got a chimney. It does. It's got okay. uh, windows kind of here on either side of the door. I don't like that you had to think about whether it had windows. Or not. <laughs> I just went. I just like, went to reference to reference whether or not it had window. That's all. 
<laughs> I don't want to say it had them and then it doesn't have them. He's an incredibly <laughs> grumpy woman who lives in There's her house with no windows, no sunlight. A dark ass house. Yeah. <laughs> No natural light, only fluorescent lighting. She's running oh a drug god. That's oh. horrible. All fluorescent lighting? Dude, I'd lose oh. it. God, yeah. No plants. It's all sterile like a hospital. Uh, or, horrible. Uh, I bet. She's such a I asshole. bet. So, <laughs> I bet. Uh, so the house seems rel relatively unremarkable from the outside. It looks akin to many of the others that you've been passing by. Uh, nothing that would really place it out of the ordinary. There's a rather sturdy looking wooden door at the center of uh, the one side of the building, uh, as well as two windows that dot either side of it. Uh, there is indeed, as you kind of crane your neck to look up, a chimney on the rooftop. Um, but other than that, it's a fairly unremarkable building. Hmm. Interesting. Boring ass house. Get back to you guys. I messaged to you all, so we're not speaking out loud. At, like, out loud, and Thina's just talking about random stuff to, like, not seem suspicious. But she's messaging you all, and she's like, Honestly, I feel like the chimney could be our best bet if we use that in large region. I don't know if we want to use that now. That might be more of a bank thing. But, um,. So I goes down the chimney, we wouldn't have to break a window. Uh, no, Kagox, no, 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 no. Kagox, no, 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 no. no. come here, come here, come here, Kagox. He's like a cat. <laughs> yeah. Ps, 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 Kagox. Kagox, should we get him a leash? But... What are those, those backpacks with the leash? A child backpack? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's time. But it takes, it takes all three of us holding on to it to like even slightly hold him back. No, nope. no, no, guys, I got this. Cerisa goes and gets out. That rope that she has. Oh my god. The snake rope. Yes. The snake mm -hmm. rope. And then, oh my god, where's my thing? I was just going to lift everybody onto the roof so they could be on the roof. No, 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 no. <laughs> so he's a place a little flute and has her <laughs> rope snake wrap wait, around wait. Chaos. Was that an actual, like. Yes. Yes. Wow, well, I did not know you had. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa. I have several instruments in this room that I could pull out at any time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Break no... out the dulcimer. Go. Dang it, I don't have that, man. Heck. Um, Leah, out of the corner of your eye, you catch like a shimmer of motion behind the curtains. Oh god. No, there's, there's... no! There's someone no. in the house. What? Oh god, uh, Kaox, Kaox, get the dog from there, please! I duck down into the bushes. Oh my god. No, no, step away, step away from the house. You flatten the bushes in that area. <laughs> oh god, oh no. Kaox, get away from the house, please, 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 please. please. Uh, just thinking, Kaox, did you find a snake? Anywhere, did you find a snake? I don't know, did I find a snake? Well, that's no. what you were looking for in the bushes. Right? Ahem. Right? Right! Yes, Kegox, did you find anything? Cerisa's been oh so adamant about us finding a thing. I'm going to make a perception check to see if I find anything. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> that is a 19. Oh. <gasps> wow. I mean, you find the roots of a bunch of bushes. I found some find them, some bush find them roots. Very, find them very quickly and very accurately. Wow, <laughs> impressive! Dang it, that's a darn shame. Well, um, too bad. Yeah. No snakes. We'll Step away from the, the lovely house, Kegox. Yes, we'll check the next house. Though. Yes, Sorry. we'll find we'll find one eventually. That's all we're doing out here is looking for snakes. And Cerisa would like to use her rope snake Coiletta to make a Kagox like leash to wrap oh my around the Kagox horse. harness. <laughs> Vero. Nice. All right. Now, now Kagox is on a leash. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, guys. <laughs> do you understand we'll how back. tempted I am to start walking and not stop? 
the oh opposite. My god. Oh my That'd god. That'd be so funny. All right, this way, King Ox. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna go over to this house and like look in the tree and brush over here to sell the lie, of course. Leah will also attempt to do that. Yeah, come on, no one over here either. It's uh, a yeah, shame. We gotta, we gotta look for more snakes. <laughs> yes, I don't see any. This is quite a mystery. This might not be the area, guys. I you get like some glances walk. from people who are just like walking by on their on their daily business. Oh my god, can't we just be normal for once? <laughs> nope. I think it's well, time to head out. There's no snakes here. No snakes. What a darn shame. Come on, Kagox. Three is gonna start tugging on the on the rope. I stare at the rope and then Sarisa, and then I, I move an inch. Oh, come on, Kegox. Yeah, come on. Come on, Kegox. Kegox. Well, won't you, won't you move where Sarisa is telling you to? Because I am not an animal. <laughs> no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Oh, that was so sad. We're trying to make sure that you don't go running away on. You have a tendency to do that, you know. And then we get worried about you, Kagox, because you're our battle brother and we don't want to see you get hurt. Yeah. Mm. If it makes you feel any better, Sarisa, rope me in. Rope me as well. <laughs> Kagox is, is Me too! Not Solidarity! Rope us! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like when you go on a field trip in elementary school and you all have to hold on to that big rope. <laughs> yep. Alright, everyone's roped in. See you, right. We're all doing it now. Yeah, Sarisa, you roped the group up. <laughs> <laughs> you just made in your voice when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> He's so disappointed, guys. <laughs> He's like, okay, well, now everybody's roped up. This is a perfect plan. All right, do so do you, do you lead them onward, then? Yeah, let's go, guys. We're just going to start <laughs> walking out. <laughs> All right. Well, if they're following, then uh, yeah, you lead them on uh, with the rope attached to each of them. Uh, it's kind of threaded around them all and back to you. Um, you get a lot of odd glances from people that you pass by. Uh, you even hear as you walk by one of them, Sarisa, you hear one of them murder, mur mur murmur, uh, must be prisoners on their way to on their way to jail. I mean, Sarisa, hear this? Yeah. He's kind of under his breath. He says it to like his buddy who's walking next to him, but you you catch the the murmur. Oh my gosh! Sarisa starts to get a little sweaty. She waits for that person to like walk away, and she's like, <laughs> she has the <laughs> rope come back. <laughs> Let's come back to her. She's like, okay, this is a terrible plan, guys. I think we should just keep walking. That's right. We actually, Sarisa's we actually just gonna we keep... No, we escaped jail. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, Sirius is gone. <laughs> he doesn't know. Perhaps, perhaps our culture is different from his. Nope. Sirius is skadoodled off already. <laughs> uh, so, uh, next on your 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 travels was uh, a long walk. Yay. <laughs> Walking right. simulator. So you passed by uh, by Greta's house and started to make your way south. Now, if there's anywhere you want to stop along the way, please let me know. But your current mm. path was heading all the way across the city, over the Central Canal, um, and past the Artisans District, toward uh, the little spot that uh, was dictated on Renard's little calling card he handed you. Wait. Quick aside. Oh, oh, oh no. Mm -hmm. it's just um, not that we have to do it right now, but I just, it just kind of hit me, right? So, the lady at the church, right? I do not mm -hmm. recall her name. 
She has a sister at that uh, boat. The yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to bring that up because I don't know. Maybe we could mention to her like, "Hey, your sister's yeah. getting blackmailed or something." Just yes. Charity, charity and poetry. Charity and poetry. Charity. Yes. Yeah, charity and yeah. poetry. Yeah. We, we, yeah, we. I've also been thinking about that. I think, yeah, we should definitely visit her and then also just ask around in general about yes. all that stuff. Um, yeah, that could be a tomorrow thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. I just want to So, make sure probably cause... next week. <laughs> that one yeah, I've, I've not forgotten. Trust. Nice. That's, okay. that's, so... yeah. Cause I know that one's on a bit of a time frame since they only have like yes. one end of the week. Yeah. Alright, cool. <laughs> yes. We've got so much. Dude, <laughs> it's great. We're going for a hundred percent completion. I that's what I'm saying. I love being a completionist. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. I, everybody needs to have little like bubbles over their head that like the little exclamation mark that says if it has a side quest, so we can <laughs> collect them all. <laughs> oh. But yeah, uh, nah, I think we're good to head over, right? Unless somebody's got anything else pop into the brain? I don't think so. And then we yeah. can go to the festival! After we talk to the thief dude! Yeah! Thief dude! Yes. Thief dude, then festival. Alright, uh, so yeah, you wind your way back through the streets, cross over that bridge over the central canal. Uh, you can see one of those windmills turning in the distance. There's one that sits just to the north of the Artisan District. Uh, and you kind of pass by uh, groups of people that are all kind of crowding around. You can hear people as you're walking through the streets, uh, sort of like um, gossiping and murmuring about the festival that's going to be coming up. Um, everybody seems, there's kind of a buzz of excitement in the air. Uh, but you wind your way around the Artisan District and up, down... Uh, a kind of dimmer alley. There's sort of taller buildings and trees along this alleyway that sort of cast the whole thing in shadow. And in fact, uh, if you hadn't known to look for it, you might have just missed the alley entirely. Hmm. This does seem like some place that a thief would reside. Oh, what a prepared DM. You're already on that map. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, so yeah, you make your way down that uh, dark alley, and you can see uh, at the very end there's uh, a slightly ramshackle house that seems to be the one that was given to you in the calling card. Do we just kind of... Oh, music change. Oh. <laughs> um, do, do you think we just knock or oh should we try to break in again you know is that kind of like a fun a fun oh, thing maybe we don't do that it was already um <laughs> bad enough the first time and they just ask her she's like it was it was um never mind no oh, um, sorry as was bad that? ass as it was the first time yeah, uh, yeah it was just so good the last time that we yes. probably can't it. I don't um, think we can recreate it honestly yeah it's yes okay um Would you like I'll to just, try I'll the just window stop. again no, no. Thank you. we've already perfected okay. it. There's, there's really no, no need for all that. Yeah. Okay, I'll just knock on the door. And she, she knocks on the door. It's the reason we'll look through your bluff eventually. <laughs> it's like the day. most, it's the most pointless lie. Like you're gonna learn nothing of interest. Just the fact that we, we absolutely beefed it going through a window. Okay? It's true. We have egos. Okay, Anthena knocks on the door, and she's got the calling card, like, in her hand, like, <laughs> displayed, kind of like a badge. So, that he knows that we're, we, we're not a threat. Uh, make a perception door, check, quick, right? Anthena. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, that's a seven. Mm. Uh, well, so then after, them. after a, a pause, after you knock, you wait for, uh, a couple seconds. And then uh, the door actually swings open on its own. Oh. Spooky. Mm, maybe we can come back later. Theresa starts to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Leah grabs Theresa's. Like, no. We need to. 
We need to talk to this guy. I mean, we're going to be doing a lot of breaking in and stealing from people, so I think it'd be helpful to have some tips. If you feel uncomfortable, Cerisa, you can wait outside. We, we can yell for you if we need something. You don't have to go in, but it's okay. We'll, we'll be right beside you the whole time. He's not sc I mean, he's a little scary because he's kind of like a mysterious thief, but he I was say nice. Mysterious. Scary, mm, mysterious, yes. Mysterious, yes, but not scary. He was very nice. Gave me a lovely piece of origami, which I have uh, have destroyed in opening it, but, you know. Uh, well, um, perhaps yeah. I'll make you another one. I hope so. I've tried to refold it, but I really, I don't, I don't know how. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going in. Uh, okay. I'll go in, I Cerisa, guess. would you like to hold my hand while we walk yes, in? Yes, please. Cerisa, right. <laughs> like, latches onto her hand. <laughs> Leah will I gently hold her hand back. <laughs> Alright, uh, then yeah, you make your way into uh, a very dark room uh, that as soon as you kind of step across the, the threshold into the building, uh, a candle at the center of a table just sort of crackles to life. Uh, and you find yourself looking at... Huh. Hey, there he is. Yeah. Uh, and so you're in what appears to be... Well, if it wasn't for the fact that you were told to meet here, you might imagine that this building was entirely abandoned, uh, as it looks to be in quite a state of disrepair and cobwebs hang low from the ceiling. Um, the only sign of life is, of course, uh, the lit candle and Renard who sits at the far end of a very long table, uh, sort of reclining with his chair tipped back a little bit and his boots up on the table. Now he's got a little uh, pitcher of, of wine in a glass next to him. Uh, along the right wall, you can see several uh, old uh, cobwebbed suits of armor. Uh, but he just kind of leans back, kind of tips his nose up at you and just gestures towards the chairs. Anthena looks between her friends and then slowly walks to a chair. It'll be alright, Sarisa. You can come sit next to me, okay? Okay. I'll put myself next to him so you don't have to sit close. Okay. Would have been funny if we sat at the complete other end of the table. I was thinking <laughs> about it. <laughs> well. I wasn't sure you'd actually come. No, color me surprised. Well, um, we're a little surprised too. This is um an, an interesting location. Do you do you live here? It's a safe house of sorts. Oh, yeah. We we kind of have one of those um somewhere somewhere <laughs> else. Um, <laughs> he just chuckles. Uh, now, uh, I imagine because you come here and because of the circumstances of our meetings, I imagine you all have an interest in thievery, so to speak. Uh, y yes, to put it short. Um, yeah, we're just in kind of in need of um, some advice or assistance. Um, anything you can provide would be helpful. Very well. Well, I am Renard. I am a professional thief. So, if it is thievery that you need, my services can be arranged for a price. Hmm. And just out of curiosity, don't take offense to this or anything, but uh, how can we assure that y we can... I don't want to say trust you, I mean, you are a thief, but how can we assure that you're not going to, I don't know, rat us out or tell someone about what we're having you do? Yeah, well, us in the bank. a person like myself lives by the very name I wear. My reputation dies, so do I. You said you're a professional thief? How exactly do you become a professional? 
by offering my services. You pay me coin, and I take what you need. No questions asked. Well, except the ones oh, required for the job. Mm. That's honestly great. A lot of people ask so many questions, and it's kind of difficult to come up with a lie each time. So, um, that's helpful. Um, Anthea kind of looks to all her friends, and she's like, this kind of seems exactly what we need, because I don't think we're qualified to do some of the stuff that we may or may not need to do. I do also sell yeah. thievery supplies. That's more in your market as well. Some people like to get their hands dirty, you see. I don't think that's something we're opposed to necessarily. We just don't uh, want to mess anything up, I guess. Some uh, The situation we're dealing with is quite delicate. So And no killing people. Well, yes, that as well. Um, yeah. Well, I pride myself on being a bit of a ghost, if you will. I prefer that no one even see me at all. Of course, on that last job, he just looks at you and, and Leah and Thina. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yep, um, well, you know, we, we were really good as well at breaking in and so that's why we were able to see you of course and yes, that's we were quite stealthy and you were surprised by were our surprised. stealthiness very surprised yes what what were you doing there exactly you had a job there what what was that about uh, although actually i'm sure you can't talk about it <laughs> and what you, just uh, like, <laughs> what's the perception for Sarisa? i want to see if Sarisa can tell if they're lying or not These you get two. insight as well if that's a higher stat for you Oh, insight would okay. would technically be the the proper stuff. Oh, okay, insight. That's right. <laughs> Are you lying? Gosh, dang it! No, <laughs> you can't. No, fuck that. <laughs> um, Renard kind of like leans back a little further in the chair and says, uh, "As I said, I am a thief for hire, and well, you saw me on the job, then I was hired to steal." Well, we I thought, know, well, it was a turn of bad fortune that we came upon each other. Well, I had a choice right then and there when, when we met. I could either silence you permanently or, well, turn oh. you into clients. Oh, boy. Ooh. I don't I, like the silencing option. I don't I'm like quite happy. I'm quite happy. Rolled the dice, if you will, and gambled on the ladder, so wow. don't make me regret <laughs> that. Um, yeah, happy, happy we landed on the ladder. That's, um, that's good for me, good for Leah, good for you. I mean, I think you made the right choice here. Um, Teresa sinks into her chair. <laughs> and Dina, like, does not know how to act. She, she is out of her element here, fully. All right, um, okay, so I think we could definitely use your services but I'm a little hesitant to disclose what yet until we get all the proper plans in place um how far in advance do you need to be notified of something in order to complete it well I'd prefer at least a day to prepare my supplies scout the place out find a path in so a day's preparation is about what I need. Depends on the difficulty of the job, of course. If it's something uh, more delicate or it's, it's in a location more secure, then the price will go up, as will my preparation time. Teresa, telephone hand. Yeah, I, I, me I message. You can use I the mean... message spell if you wish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. And Theta, like, fully, like, turns away, like, back to him and messages and, like, tries to, I don't know, shield, shield the fact that she's doing that, but obviously it's not working. I'm a thief. I deal in secrets. I don't mind. Okay. This guy scares me. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a professional thief. I did say he was a little bit mysterious, but I, I don't... He would uh, be good. I will say. To get... We, has... we, 
spot. <laughs> if he can detect when we're casting spells like this, well, then again, we might not be making it the most secretive things, Teresa. With your little telephone hand. <laughs> but what do you mean? I don't understand. I mean that <laughs> he might have seen you doing that and assumed that we were messaging each other. No, I... Oh, no, I don't understand. <laughs> She's holding her head. <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand. I think, listen, we need aetheric signatures from two separate people. And we need keys as we well. We need a lot of keys. Yeah, keys as well. And listen, uh, I'm assuming that the manager of a bank and one of the richest people in the whole world have pretty high security in that i'm not entirely sure that we could sneak past plus i think it would be nice having somebody other than us for or people who are in the immediate group committing these things so in case they get caught it's not immediate we're not immediately detectable as so involved in something. i agree but i also think i believe now this this might be me I believe that we should break into Gaunt's ourselves because it is Camille that has a plan and mm -hmm. I do trust her idea. So oh. I believe that while we should break into Gaunt's, perhaps we could task Renard with getting the bank manager's key and signature. I mean, yeah. uh, how, how are we going to pay this guy? Well, we have to ask his price first. I'm, I mean, uh, one thing that comes to mind, if we kind of just, you know, let him in on our heist, can we just <laughs> tell him to help yourself? We're splitting this treasure a lot of ways at this point. How and I mean, this thing. lady has to be, she like, has a lot rich, of money. Yes. right? But he might require some sort of down payment of goodwill. So, I'd like to see what he requires in terms of finances before we move forward. Ooh. Are any of you good at haggling? I'm not good at all. I'm just gonna just agree to whatever price he says. Is anybody is anybody good at, like, discussing that? Um, I'm not particularly good, but I can try. Okay, I'll back you up. We got oh. We got this. Well, but the thing is, is we don't necessarily need to haggle price. We just need to no? let him know what it is we're doing. Mm. I feel like the idea of being able to take whatever you want from Lady Gwendolyn Gaunt's vault is part of an incentive itself. Oh, Can we trust might... him? Let him in on all this? Oh, oh, let's he test is... him first. Let's test him first. Secrecy is his thing. But you're oh, right, Sarisa. We should test him. How do you yeah. want to test him? Uh, get him to steal something. And Will it not yeah. cost him something to steal something as a well, test? Uh, hmm. Well, we gotta test him though, right? We can't just, you know, let him in on the. Yeah, my, that, my idea was silly. We shouldn't let him in on the big heist. Just. No, we should not. We should test him. But we uh, should see what his prices are first before we start to give him a task, I suppose. Uh, Cool. You got this, Leah. Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh. Are we talking now? <laughs> she's like messaging, she's like, wait, now? Like, now? Yeah, Should I? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, he's, he's kind of waiting. Um, <laughs> and Dina, like, tur turns back around and puts her hands, like, folded on the table and, like, narrows her eyes, trying to look intimidating, but obviously it's not working. Um, and yeah. she kind of looks, looks at you to go ahead. Leah, Leah kind of clears her throat. She goes, hmm. All right. Um, well, we have decided a, a few things. First of all, what, hmm, what sort of pr price range could we be expecting from, from a smaller, say, say you're going to steal something from a shop or someone's house. What sort of price well, could we expect from that? It really depends on what I'm stealing and from whom and from where. Uh, you say a shop, but which shop? Lots of shops have more security than others. 
Mm. Uh, there's also lots of items that are harder to steal than others, and, well, to be honest, there are people you're stealing it from who will be more or less angry about the theft and may seek retribution. So again, the price does vary. I like to have mm. an idea of what I'm stealing before I list my price. I assure this you. Is... I have a out of This is my business. Question. I'm not attempting to. Real. Also. Um, okay. I have another character question. What's the name of the bar that we went to that we did the the hands, the wrestling? Yeah. The wrestling? <laughs> What's the arm wrestling? That? Yeah, arm wrestling. What was the name of that place? Uh, the knife said. The knife said. Yeah. I mean the one. Yeah, you mean the one down the wash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Poetry 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 is. yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. so Leo, Leo kind of sits there for a second. She goes, well, I understand that it's your business, but you must understand that what we are attempting to undertake is something that we cannot tell just anyone. And I do understand that you are a thief and that you trade in secrets. However, it would be of in our best interests to send you on a smaller, um, gain, I suppose, operation. Um, rather than the large one that we are planning. Um, oh, so, well. Piece of the puzzle wise, that you need to get your hands on. Um, well, she, she messes as a group. She goes, do you think it's stupid if I ask him to steal something from the knife's edge? Because we've been there and we know their security. So, what do we need from there? We don't need anything from there, but I was just going to have him steal, like, uh, a bottle wait. of wine or something, wait, and see wait, if he could get in I there. It, I think it would also be kind of funny if we just had him steal something from one of our friends just to see if he could do That's it. That's true. Oh wait, I've, like, had I've, had <laughs> I've had an idea. I've had an idea. Oh, no. There was the tiefling woman guarding the basement, right? Yeah. What yeah, if uh, we what task was... him with getting in... Po poetry, poetry. We task him with getting down there, taking something from the owner with his signature on it, and bringing it back to us so that we know that he can get through not one, but two types of security. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. What if we ask him to steal the ledger and those letters from the, um, Gaunt thingy? Oh my god. The, from the Gaunt uh, shipping and The shipping warehouse, yeah, yes. The shipping warehouse. Wait, yeah. that's that is also genius! A good idea. That's yes, a that's, that's that's Thank really good. Although, I knew I am we, a genius. then we could kind of weigh his reaction to how he feels about Gaunt, and True. because that's kind of related to what you know what I mean. Like, but then we also, I feel like we need to get him to tell us. I I don't know if we'd have to pay extra, but I feel like there's a lot of information in there that could be helpful in regards to what we're doing. So maybe we could just be like, hey, tell us everything that you see. You we know? could have him. Yes. All yeah. right. Um, so Leah looks back at Renard and she says, All right, well, um, we would like you to break into Gaunt's shipping and handling. <laughs> Robbing Lady Gaunt, huh? He sort of well, like swirls, he swirls the wine in his glass for a second. Mm. Not her directly, necessarily. There's just something that we that is, need in there. It's her, her business. So we, She's yeah, the owner. Yes, yes, Um. obviously. Yes, we but have we're... access to certain things of information that are within said warehouse. Mm. Um, well, I was going to ask that, yes. Uh, stealing a parcel from the premises... Not a big ask, but stealing directly from Gaunt, uh, from the desk, from the ledgers, that is a different story. One well, might be overlooked as, well, a zero that wasn't carried over on a ledger, but the other, stealing the ledger itself, or documents, or even coin directly from the desk. Uh, well, that's a personal offense to Gaunt. Wouldn't take that lightly. 
Do you have a yes, problem with well, the personal offense to Gaunt? Well, it's just that thieves who rob her tend to disappear. Oh, no. Oh, you're wow. joking, right? It doesn't say that I wouldn't get caught. And I was going to say. It's not as though I don't feel confident about my abilities. It's just I like to avoid causing trouble where I needn't cause trouble. You understand? I pick and choose contracts. What if you were just to copy down the information of the ledger, not necessarily steer, steal the physical thing itself? Then it well, wouldn't be missed, right? That is an option, but it would increase the amount of time I have to spend in the building significantly, and therefore the price would start to skyrocket. Oh, boy. Which is safer, the copying or stealing the exact thing? Neither is safe, but... I would say copying is a little safer, as there would be less sign that I was even there. Hmm. But again, know, it will cost you. Couldn't you use, like, something to, like, magically copy it down? Is that a thing, guys? I don't know. Too. Yeah. Is there even a... Sp I don't know. I have to do some research. Um... Okay, so uh, say we needed both a parcel and a ledger of some kind, copied or taken, whatever. So bo both, both things. How how much would you charge? Well, for the parcel, about fifty gold. For the other job, uh, depending on which method you want, I'd say probably around one hundred and fifty. So if you want both, around two hundred gold. Reasonable, honestly. Um, she kind of but looks looks. At if you want me to steal the actual ledger, we're looking more towards doubling that number. Oh. Uh, Leah, Leah's gonna mess as a group, and she goes, "Well, he already knows of our attempts to take something from Lady Gaunt, if." We sweeten the deal by offering him things from her vault in exchange for his cooperation. I know we've already said we're going to be splitting the tally amongst many people. There will be a fair amount of money in this vault. So... But do we think he would take... I mean, it... <laughs> listen, not, not to... Not to bring this up, because obviously I very much support our plan, I support our group, our battle fam, you know, but, um, it's not really a guarantee. He seems kind of like a practical person, and I don't know if he would accept maybe a promise of future payment. It's also true he might not take the contract at all, considering that he does seem to be rightfully afraid of Gaunt's retribution. I'm and what so... is to keep him from telling someone about our plan? Well, I don't well, think that he really has any contacts that would uh, want to... Well, he could, I suppose, but oh, there's God. no point in turning over another thief. Maybe. I mean... Because that is what we are to be. What, what most hunters do to keep animals off of their trail is they... they use the scent of another animal. If he needed someone to get off of his back, he might send them after our backs, if that makes sense. Uh, um, that is I... true. <laughs> but I mean, we haven't done anything yet. I, I feel like if he said something to someone, it would just be kind of his word against ours, right? Mm, I don't know. But <laughs> if he's worried about Retribution from Lady God, he could kind of maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, scamper off if he needs somewhere to go. Well, uh, wait, before I say this, Grand, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, doesn't Lady Dietra take in, like, thieves if they steal for her, right? Yeah. She takes in anyone yeah. who's talented enough to. Uh, awesome. Be of value. 
Okay. Nice. He's, and Cerise will continue. Well, if he is worried about retribution from Lady Gone, I could always suffer him to, you know, scamper off maybe to Urhalai. If he's skilled enough, my lady might be interested in um, adding him to her hoard. He could propose it, honestly. I, I can feel like I can't get a read on on kind of I don't know how he react to our plan. Can we do o like obviously? Our... That is his specialty. Can we do a perception check to maybe or an insight check, perception or an insight to see how he's feeling about the situation. We can do an insight. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna high-five myself, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, insight, baby. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Wow, that coin flip from earlier really is... Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, high-five myself. I guess... What is it, a 1d4? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, with a with a twelve, you you kind of look him over. He's still reclined in the chair. His boots are still on the table. Uh, by all means, he seems like he's chilling. <laughs> Damn. Well, oh. he's unreadable. He's always just chilling. Mm. So. I'm gonna. Teresa's gonna hold up her little telephone hand. It's like, <laughs> message. Okay, okay, what? Okay, here's what we can do. We can. Uh, we can use the parcel and the ledger thingy to test him. Mm -hmm. And if we want to include him in our heist, we. I can wait in the deal and. You know, have him. If he needs a place to run, and maybe find some rather nice employment, I could see if he could become a part of Lady Dietra's horde. That? Who would- who would decline that? You'd be crazy. I mean, I will have to take your word for it, but I am- yes, I'm- I'm sure that would be a- a good proposition for him. Um... So, I, I guess the only issue, really, is the fact of payment. Mm. We, I mean, I know we got a little bit of money from doing that inspecting step, but I don't think it's enough to cover all of what he's asking. We could talk to Camille. True. Yeah, so, I guess... Hmm. Do we, do we want to have him meet us at the Quipper? I feel like we're really sending everybody there. <laughs> It is kind of where everybody uh, it's, is meeting you know, up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he'd go, honestly. You know, I don't know if he kind of frequents places that have people, but I don't we could know. Ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, ask him, ask him, ask him, ask him. Okay. <laughs> she slowly turns back to Renard. All right. So, um, all the cards on the table. Um, we think that we could really benefit from your services. Um, we do have the monetary means to pay you, but just not at the moment. We gotta kind of pull Eyebrow our resources. Raises. <laughs> hey, and, um, I, I don't. I don't mean like. I don't mean it like that. I mean like we have to pull our resources with some of our other associates back at our lodgings. So. Would you be willing to meet us there at a specified time so that we could further discuss the details of things? No, I don't meet outside my safe house. Okay, that's what okay. I thought. Wait, so how do you... How do you... How do you, like, do business? How do you get... How do you tell people to come to the safe house if you don't leave the safe house? I'm very good at finding clients. <laughs> and then I asked if they come to me. So that is a secure environment, you say? 
not about to just wander into anyone else's building just to be ambushed or well you never know when it's a disgruntled uh, victim looking for revenge here i'm secure so here i'll do business if you wish to go and get your funds that's fine but if you want to do business you'll come back here well, i guess that's fair yeah, Nick, I can't really blame you for that. That kind of makes sense. Okay, all right. Um, I'll, I'll kind of turn back to everybody and message and be like, so, I don't know, I feel like we're kind of at a standstill with this right now. Yeah. So we, we can't pay him right now. <laughs> I think yeah. even together we don't have enough money, so. So, why don't we discuss this with Camille by chance? Because we yeah. we did say we were gonna get those the parcels and the ledgers and everything. Yeah. And I don't know. I we're not really thieves, so we I don't know if we could really break in. And well, I mean, oh, yeah, we are, but we're not skilled thieves, skilled. unfortunately. And him mentioning uh, Lady Gaunt's you know, retribution, I don't think that'd be good for us if we're going to then, you know, break into her her vault later. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think keeping us away from doing anything like that until we have to rob the actual bank is probably a good idea, just, right. just in case, you know, so they don't have time to prepare some kind of counter, you know. To us, so I think he's our best option to get into that warehouse. Not only would it help the two people that we've promised to help, but I think it would also be good. There's probably other information there that could be helpful in regards to Gaunt and her whole right. empire. So exactly. So we could benefit from his services, but we should. Uh... Talk to Camille first, maybe. Okay, all right. I'll um, I'll I'll kind of tell him, and then she'll turn back again, and she's like, "Okay, so yes, I think we are going to need you at some point. Um, which the specifics of you'll get obviously when it comes closer to the time. But at the moment, we have to go consult our associates and get get the the money in the form that you need it in and the amount." that you need it in. So, um, we'll come back, I promise. We'll be back. Uh, good day. She well. awkwardly does a little, I don't know, bow thing. It, are you here, like, all the time? Do we need to come back at a certain hour? Uh, you need to specify an hour. Just bring that calling card with you. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Sure, alright, yeah, that's... Okay, um, did any trust, of you have any other questions? Trust our business is adjourned for the day, then? Uh, yes, we're, we're putting a, a pin in it, um, as, as they say. And Dina kind of looks at everybody. Do you guys have any questions? Sorry, Sorry just has to tell. Is he, like... Hi, yes, I have a question for him. Um, yes? did he, like, steal from... Wait, oh, no, I'm doing the tell, my bad. Oh, telephone? Oh, okay. 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 Telephone, telephone, gotcha. telephone. Okay, yeah, message. He's like, wait, 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 weren't we supposed to ask if this guy stole from the Birdman in the basement? Ooh, I doubt he'll talk about that, though. Um... Yes, but we should ask, still. Would it hurt to ask, or do you think... No. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Phrase it like you know, if we're gonna trust him with our business, he has to trust us with his business. You know. Uh. Um. <clears throat> Teresa kind of sits up in her chair and she's like, trying to act all businesslike. But <laughs> man, that just goes down the drain real quick, and she's <laughs> real timid. It's like, uh, you didn't happen to steal from a bird man in a basement. Uh, did you? Well, I don't kiss and tell about past jobs. 
Oh. Ah, uh, well, we we're just. You wondering. wouldn't want me discussing what you want me to steal with my next client, would you? No. You're well, right. then offer them the same courtesy. She starts to sink in her chair. <laughs> All right. Any other questions that are not about previous business? No. No? Okay. Um. Well, I mean, I guess we can go enjoy the festival now. Sure. Yeah. It should be fun. Yeah. And she kind of turns back to Renard and she's like, well, um, thank you very much for your time and um, uh, your employment in future. Uh, sorry that we couldn't secure anything today, but uh, we'll, we'll be back with our associates. She keeps using that word because she <laughs> is about to say accomplices and then doesn't want to say that again. <laughs> he nods. Oh, wait. Okay, before I go, can you show me how you folded your little calling card into the origami thing? Because I've been trying to refold it and I can't figure it out. And it's honestly really cool. Um... He just holds out a hand for you to hand it to him. Uh, I hand it to him. Uh, with his wine glass in the other hand, he folds it one-handed into a fuck. Wow. Look and at it just show off. I'm more amazed. <sighs> and then passes it back to you. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll try it on my own. Did you get all that, Anthena? How did he do that? He did it with one hand. How oh, that's not even possible? <laughs> Perhaps he's just dexterous, as any good thief is. You mean, I'm pretty dexterous too. Almost like I have yeah. a plus four to it, but I don't think I could, could do that. He could prove his worth to us by making a thousand of those. <laughs> one <laughs> hand. What, like it's some like old fairy tale? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll only let yeah. you out of the tower, princess, if you fold a thousand <laughs> paper cranes. Yep. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And then you have to kiss the frogman. That's the <laughs> Oh, oh right. there was a frogman outside. No. <laughs> no. He's down, bro. He's flirty. Uh, do you guys turn back towards the door? Yes. Why did you say it like that? No, I'm just asking. I'm asking if you guys are leaving because yeah. Kagox is still sitting down. Kagox. I'm coming. I'm coming. I got very comfortable in this chair. <laughs> They're nice chairs, yeah. It's it's not as if I was muted or anything. <laughs> no, I'm sure not. Is he watching us while we go? Yeah. Uh, the door okay. swings open in front of you as you approach it. Oh, Magic in these parts. I think he teleports to the house anytime someone shows up. I must have. I must learn what uh, what sort of spell he uses to open these doors so efficiently. Can we do like an an insight or like some sort of check on that door? Um, I mean, you oh, can no, try to arcana to see if the door is enchanted. I'm arcana yeah. the door. Yeah, arcana. Fuck! The I door. got a nine. Oh yeah, no! High five me! High five me! High five! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! The D four. I also want to see. Yeah. Well, that's a one. So I got a ten. <laughs> Can I also high-five Well, Leah, friend? you you estimate by the fact that the door opened on its own that there might be magic involved. Whoa, really? Whoa, Whoa. You, 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 you confirm your hypothesis that it wasn't just the wind by pure coincidence. All right, twice. all right. Leah, Leah writes this down in her notebook. She goes, hypothesis confirmed not wind. Smiley face. Smiley face. Uh, anything else does he leave? I don't think no. so. Nope. Very well. Uh, then yeah, you make your way outside and again the door swings shut behind you. And wow. you're now back in that uh, kind of dimly lit alley. It's uh, it's getting kind of darker. It's approaching the evening time. So the alley is kind of getting even even gloomier as the day stretches on. Uh, but yeah, as like you to check her pockets, <laughs> uh, just just checking for what everything that was in there. Yes, especially since a certain 
uh, somebody wears a lot of gold on her person. <laughs> Everything is where you left him. That would be crazy if he stole from us within full sight. Right? Oh, he did fall with one hand. He had a magic door, so I started getting suspicious. Oh my god, could you like mage hand stuff out of people's pockets while you're talking to them? You could. Yeah, see? I don't know, maybe. Guys, new con! <laughs> I have mage hand. <laughs> I mean, they might see the giant glowing hand, but... But if, I mean, if you're distracting them, like, you're at a table and you're talking to them, they wouldn't be looking down at their pockets. Potentially, All we we, tr we tried something like that with the with the guidance and the uh, yeah. the arm wrestling. It was the mission was to did it tickle him? I, it did. I forgot what it we did. did. Yeah, tickle. Tickle, very tickle. awkward. Yes, you won yeah. though. I'm, yeah, I mean, you won because I tickled him. Yes, mm. we, we, I didn't yeah. like saying that statement. Though. We had a very stern talking to, and I look over to Sarisa. Wasn't for me. That time. <laughs> oh, it was from poetry. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I nearly forgot. Oh, no. Okay, um... Me. <laughs> uh, festival? Festival! 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 It sounds like we're saying vegetable to me in my head. Vegetable! Um, vegetable! vegetable. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you are just sort of a short walk away from the coastline and Starshine Beach, where you were told the festival is being held. So, uh, yeah, you can just head right there if you want. It is approaching the evening time, so you imagine the festivities are sort of starting up around now. Swag. So, uh, yeah, if there's nothing else you want to do, you can head there. We're going to meet up with Camille. Yay, yeah. beach time. Beach episode. Is this a beach episode? We, we, beach we, episode. we drew all of this for a reason, guys. Beach episode. It was preordained. Beach episode. No. Uh, yeah. So you you make your way out of that uh, gloomy alley back onto one of the main streets where you can see uh, the crowd kind of funneling towards the beach. Um, and so you kind of find uh, gaps in the crowd and make your way in. You can see the, that the crowd sort of stretches out, like all down the road, and you can see that there are various vendors set up. But um, it does appear that most people are kind of spreading out along the large stretch of the beach. And so you uh, find sort of a central area where you imagine Camille would be able to find you. And you uh, head towards it. Now, uh, we are at 10 o'clock. So you guys have important things you need to do, we can end here. Um, or if you're oh, sleepy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! Thing. <laughs> you're here <Yeah>. sleepy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, we can just start okay. with the festival next time if you're sleepy. I feel like More that's probably, yeah, us. that's better. Yeah, we can it's, actually, it's like, yeah. Oh, I'm getting so yep. yawning! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we didn't bring beach chairs. We're so screwed. Oh, no. That's what no. next time is for. We can we stop, beach pick up beach chairs, beach and then chairs. continue. Yeah, and then we go on. <laughs> we yeah, didn't pack there's sandwiches. A, there's a beach like, chair really. and, and sandwiches merchant right next to the beach, actually. Whoa! Oh, awesome! Yeah. But they're, they're, 100, they're 100 gold each, so he's really gonna no, price gouge so you because you forgot to bring your own. Dude, that's how we rob you. That's how we make money. That's how we make money. <laughs> Average beach, for real. That, that, the uh, shop. Oh, what's that? You forgot your sunscreen shop. at home? Oh, what a shame. I guess we're gonna charge you $50 for a bottle. <laughs> oh, my God. God. Unless you want to get skin but cancer. You don't want to get sunburned, do you? That really in your whole vacation. So, you know, you might as well just cough up. Jokes on them, I get sunburned for fun. What? <laughs> don't right. do yeah. that. You can't get sunburned if you stay in the water. <laughs> no, you mm. actually get, you get burnt <laughs> more if you're in the what? water. What? Yeah. Since you're in the water, how can you get yeah. burned? Yeah. Water infiltrates. Uh, sun infiltrates the water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the sun goes through the water and it intensifies. A lot, it, so, of, yeah. a lot yeah. of people that are tanning are like, if a UV index is over a certain number, you should go in the water because you get tan faster. What? That's, that's, the, that's the theory, is that you tan faster if you're in the water. What? 
Yeah, water won't save you, Rico. No, so are you, you know what will save you, Rico? A what? really good shade. SPF and shade. And shade. Umbrella. Yeah. Oh, now, dang. And a good facial SPF as well as a body SPF because you don't want to do <laughs> mix. Do not mix. Yeah, $50 mix each. It. Thank you. Oh, no. Yep. Ah, <laughs> it's over. We can't afford to pay this thief because we had to get sunscreen at the beach. We had to get, we had to get facial and body sunscreen, two of which are completely separate things, and Obviously. we need to get both. We Very can't important. use the sunscreen. Okay, you can, you can use the sunscreen for your the body. The face sunscreens face. are a little gentler. They'll make you not break out as well. Uh, it's gentler, uh, and you can also get some that are stronger than what you would usually put on your body, just for certain areas that are more prone to burning, like your cheeks or your nose. Um, for me, I'm very susceptible to facial burning, so I have to put like 50,000 layers of sunscreen on, or else I will look like a fucking tomato. <laughs> Which is you, not Wait, pretty. you don't want to look like a tomato? No, That's Gabby, fine. I don't, because the next time I have to walk into my house burnt, my dad's going to be like, oh, it's Santa Claus. So maybe, maybe not. I'm oh, not. Tell me. <laughs> I can't relate. I tan like a I tan like a bronze god. I'm you, sorry. Should oh. <laughs> you should die. Yeah. How great for you. Womp womp. I tan awesome. <laughs> oh, Roden's tan and built like a fucking tan. Who gives a shit? Oh, High five, Yoden. <laughs> I'm like I am. Tan. I am so pale, but there is literally no. I can't tan. I do not tan. I just burn immediately. No, not anytime. Anything. I, I have tried. tried. I, I have tried. Don't think attitude has anything to do with it, Rika. I don't. I've suffered. Maddie so didn't get burnt when we went at the beach last Anyways. year. You gotta ask for what SPF yeah. she needs. Anyway. Yeah, anyways. anyways, um, so uh, we will we'll wrap up here for tonight then, since Rika says she's sleeping. Um, <laughs> and we'll no, no, it's fine. We're like we're at time anyway. I was just wondering if you guys were like itching to go longer, or if you were sleepy or had something to take care of. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll wrap up here. This is our, our time we're supposed to wrap up anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. and, uh, we'll pick up next time. Now, off the top of our heads, does anything interfere with next Wednesday, same time, 7 p.m. Eastern? I, I will not be here. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you yeah. going on vacation for several, several weeks? No, I'm yeah. picking Healy up at the airport. <laughs> oh. Ah, she can walk. Comes in like, <laughs> can walk. She can walk. She can walk. She can walk. She can walk. I don't think she can pick up. Mm. Just, just game from it the might take, It might take her a while, but she, she could walk. She could walk. I mean, she could. It might take her a couple hours, but she could do it probably. Yeah, it's good 60 exercise. miles. Yeah. Yeah, after after a flight from uh, you know yeah, international you, flight, that's probably yeah, exactly. Fine. You'll be you'll be sitting so long on the plane, you'll you'll want to stretch. Away. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Um, I mean, we can. I guess I don't know. We can always swap days if that works for everybody, but like not yeah. like permanently swap, but I mean like just for one week that works yeah. since it's just since it's not like you're gone you just have to do something that one specific day we can yeah because i literally have to pick her up at 8 p.m like it's just in the middle of D. &D. i mean either day on either side works for me i kind of don't really have too much uh next week in the evening so uh, i Same could do here. a swap but we could yeah, talk about that too. after and i can make an announcement we don't have to decide that right now yeah Swag. Cool. Uh, so yeah everybody look at your schedules next week and and i'll i'll ask in the uh, in the group chat that we have and you can respond there so okay. you don't have to, you don't have to do it right on the spot right now go take a look at your schedules and stuff make sure that's good for you guys. That's I'm all so good. sorry that's that's that's, that's how that's dare you be a good friend and pick up your friend from the airport i know right i should just have my parents do it and then i'll be here <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so awkward for kaylee are you kidding <laughs> well, she loves my parents what are you talking about <laughs> anyways uh so yeah we'll, we'll we'll sort that out and i'll make an announcement if we're swapping dice um but you know if nothing works there's nothing in the world to just miss a week Happens Bye. all the time. Uh, so yeah, we will wrap up here for tonight, and uh, we'll we'll try and get a, a session in next week. Oh. Other than that, uh, thank you for uh, for keeping me company. Thank you for for playing tonight. It's a good session. Thank you for running. Thank you for running. Yeah, for running. very fun, very fun session. Uh, and thank yeah. you, chat, for for stopping by. And, I'm gonna uh, ruin that. Having, and send a having bunch fun of with the new emotes, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna send so many terrible. Emotes. And uh, as for yeah. your streams this week, 
Uh, we've got uh, one coming up on Saturday, actually. Don't always do a Saturday stream, but we're going to do one this time. Um, Saturday! And uh, we will uh, be doing some Elden Ring themeless co op um, <laughs> with uh, Luthen, Seraphin, and of course, looks to my side, who's sitting right there, <laughs> Rika. <laughs> Best of luck, Rika. Best of luck. Um, we will uh we will be the we'll be the weird oddball um annoying Dungeons and Dragons party that will be uh dragging her through Elden Ring. Beautiful. And she'll be the I'm main gonna character. Punch everything. You can do it, Rika. You can do I it. I can't wait. Yeah. She, I've I've told Rika to just treat me like I'm an NPC in the game that you can ask questions to. So that's what the playthrough will be like. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just treat me like I'm in the game, <laughs> and I will answer every question you have, uh, immersively. Immersively, nice. Are you gonna do a voice? Yeah. Yes. I got a whole, yes. Gabby. I got a whole character room. <laughs> oh my oh, god! This is true. This is true. This is true. <laughs> yeah, Olivia's seen the character. I can, I can show you the character, Gabby. It's, it's spoilers, so I'm not <laughs> showing Rico, but I'll show, I'll show you, Gabby, yeah. what I, what I, hey. what I'm cooking. Can you, can you send Gabby the supplemental today? Yeah, 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 yeah. we can't say any more than that. But there's a supplemental. I, I, I mentioned that I was working on something while we were on call the other day, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you'll see it you'll see it on saturday but <laughs> I'm, doing a, I'm doing a really stupid thing but i'll send it to you Gabby. it's very good Gabby, okay, I, got whole, I got a whole, whole character they got a whole backstory oh my god you made a backstory me me and blue weren't joking when we said we made up backstories Rika. oh my god wonderful it's it's uh elden ring D D. and we're your party D &D. you let's go I'm, I'm uh, so yeah, it. that'll be Saturday. It'll be it'll be probably very cursed uh, and very chaotic, but it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so tune into that. That's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. It's, we just said 7 a.m.? Okay, we said 7 Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I keep second-guessing myself on that. Yeah, 7 p.m. Eastern uh, on Saturday. That'll be that'll be very, very fun. So, uh, tune into that. Rika, for, for reference, is going in completely blind to this game. She like Ooh, knows the title okay. of the game and like literally nothing else. Like even all the stuff that like everybody kind of knows about the game, she does not know. So I'm gonna Dude, have to like delete. That's why I'm playing a character is because I'm like, if I just treat this like I'm Charlemagne, I will accidentally drop spoilers that I just assume are public knowledge. And so I'm like, no, I have to like I have to like answer it like I'm actually in the world. Otherwise, I'm gonna like <laughs> I gotta delete all the information from my brain. <laughs> and the only way I know how to do that is to like act like I'm <laughs> I'm RPing a character. <laughs> You have to be a Bethesda NPC and run into walls and shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what's uh, coming up on the channel. Uh, we'll probably be doing more streams of that after. So uh, I, I don't think we'll stop at one. It'll be a good time. Uh, so yeah, that's what's coming up. And uh, other than that, have a good night, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me, players. Uh, Olivia, Gabby, Rika, Yotin, all of you guys. Thank you very much for uh, for joining me. And, thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you for watching, chat. Uh, should we should we raise somebody? Who's streaming? Yeah, raid, 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 raid. Uh, send you. Oh, well, she's working on. Maybe we'll send you to Misfit Madness. Hanging out. Maybe we'll send you there. Looks like a chill stream. All right. Uh, so be polite. Mm. All your behavior will reflect on Lady Deotra. So be polite. <laughs> yeah. So be a menace. Do it. No. <laughs> no. Be, be very be polite. Problem. Say hello. Yes, be polite. Uh, send one emote if you want, not multiple. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, just go have a good time. Uh, thanks, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, wish you all well. I will see you guys either Saturday or next week or whenever we see you. Take care. Uh, go to bed. <laughs> I, I've been saying that a lot now, so that's, like, my new thing, I think. That's my new, like, goodbye. Is like, it's, it's past your bedtime, Shy. Go to bed. <laughs> you stream so late at work. Just, just a stream, Dad. Just go to bed. <laughs> uh, it's so, yeah. 10 I know. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so sleepy. Uh, so yeah, 
Uh, get out of here, chat. Get lost. Go away. So mean. Listen, that's the that's the streamer relationship. We gotta be mean to each other. <laughs> they get to be a little mean to me. I get to be a little mean to them. That's right. That's right. All right. Uh, have a good have a good night. Bye, uh, take chat. care, everybody. Bye bye. And, uh, bye, bye. Off you go. Go and be go and be nice and supportive.